and she received a special permit from the ZBA and I believe under your regulations a site plan review is uh, warranted after a special permit has been issued so at this point the um, all the construction is inside the building nothing is going to happen outside of the building the only change that you would notice from the road is the uh, sign that mounts on the building it's a forward lighted four by nine sign and a little pylon sign which currently now are say hey good looking salon which was there the site did have a site plan review back in 2004 when i renovated the building so okay um well i'm looking here it says there was a site plan review done in 2006 that was mm -hmm. the most recent one for the back parking lot in 2006, Mickey Shays moved in. Uh, we had to develop the back parking lot. And because of that, we had a site plan review for the installation of the uh, stormwater and the parking lot in the rear. Okay. And the, the previous use was? The previous use was a hair salon. Hair salon. Yep. Um, okay. Any questions, comments, concerns from the board? I I don't I did watch the ZBA meeting mm -hmm. um, and they they're not taking up any parking spots from the uh, fenced in area and it's not I think there's a fire door with utilities and things of that nature that it's not gonna block um, yeah the, so um, I think there was a letter from the fire department making sure that the outside connections weren't blocked and those are actually further down in the back of the building they're not in this unit they're in the unit next door and the next unit is vacant as well? Uh, right now, it's uh, Tom Wheeler, uh, CPA, is okay. in there temporarily. He's redoing his building, so he'll be there through 2017. Right. Yeah, um, I guess this would be a question for Adam. Would they still have to go to the Board of Health for some sort of permit? To the uh, This is actually a state license, if I'm not mistaken. <coughs> Excuse me. I believe the Board of Health in town requires a daily pickup of waste product uh, but I think that that's more a, a, an issue that would come with the uh, building permit application uh, you could condition that they you know in the approval or the waiver you could condition that they meet all requirements of other boards and committees in town and that would would cover it yeah basically that was my only concern So the site's got town water, town sewer, <coughs> I assume. Yes. yes. Yep. Um, and we had the, the application for doggy daycare across the street, and this is not going to have nearly the amount of impact fur going in. Yeah, you're not going to be washing animals and that kind no, of thing. No, no grooming, Good. no boarding. That was my question. That's yeah, and I did actually talk to the chairman of the sewer commission about it a bit, mm -hmm. and he said that the products that are used in the hair salon Mm -hmm. are far more detrimental to the system mm -hmm. than uh, the dog washing or if that was to take place but this is just a, a, a um, health vet mm -hmm. Veteran, so yeah okay no boarding no grooming okay excellent and um, not that it has I'm not sure are you, are, is this is this the business that was proposed to locate across from the no, you know, no? The, the business across the street was a, a separate grooming that was a and grooming. daycare facility that they've oh. chosen to not exercise their not directly across the street but further up across from the it's oh no i don't believe so I'm, i guess the applicant could answer that question but that's not my understanding there was there was a proposed um was in the vet clinic no it was at the at the monument company uh, no no back at the monument i think it's he's right speaking across up, up across from twin city yeah. that was proposed many years ago oh, oh no, i don't I recall think, that i one. think that was dr flankstrom correct okay yeah. lunenberg animal hospital okay yeah Are you, are you going to provide any kind of 24-hour emergency service there? No. Okay. And your hours of operation would be? Uh, 8 in the morning till 7 at night, Monday through Friday, um, maybe 8 to 4 on Saturdays. Okay. And consistent with most of the businesses, there's Crossroads is there, I believe, right? Is it, there's, there's a bar there. Uh, yeah, Mickey Shays, Mickey Shays is there, and the Ugly Omelette is there. Right. So, which basically... Oh, well, Ugly Omelet opens at 5 a.m. and Mickey Shays closes anywhere from 1 to 2 a.m. So there's activity there about 20 hours a day. And the ZBA did dictate hours oh. for the, in their special permit. Nice, nice. 
So I'm assuming that there will be considerable interior modifications required for a veterinary clinic versus a hair salon, but nothing, nothing on the outside, because aside from the exiting area on the on the back. Yeah. Now, just um, building. There's an open area in the middle um, that would be built three rooms. Otherwise, we're using most of the pre-existing rooms that are there. Okay. And how many spots do you have designated to this to this unit? Uh, there are ten in the front and eight in the back. Eighteen. And that's. More than adequate for your oh, more needs. Than enough, yeah. Is the rear exit in the fenced-in area? Yes, but there would be also a f an exit from that fenced-in area. Be locked. No. Right, okay. So. We just want to prevent any animal if you're out wa hand walking it to go to the bathroom from slipping a lead and getting loose. Now this is a new this is a new thing. I guess would there be any input from the dog office or from the animal control? Uh, for any reason? I no, I don't believe so. I mean, okay. this is a, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, this is a state licensed facility. It's a medical facility for all intents and purposes. And the dog officer uh, may weigh in on kennels, but this isn't a kennel. It's not a, just a boarding facility. This is a right. medical care for right. non humans. Now, since it is medical care, there will be overnight patients, right? Occasionally, yes. So there have to be staff to, to, to watch them? or No. No? The, anything critical would be shipped to a 24-hour care facility. Okay. If it's simply a stable patient overnight for surgery the next day or is kept over after surgery. Um, where I work now in Lunenburg does that all the time, and we've had no repercussions. Great. Anything else? Mm -hmm. No. I guess I'd... Entertain a motion. I'll make the motion that we uh, grant a waiver from the site plan review, site plan approval, approval. for <laughs> 324 Electric Avenue. Second. Um, with any, did we mention a condition? Oh, with the so condition, I said if you, you right, wished to, you could place those. I don't, I don't think that anybody. I mean, it would be up to the motioner. Yeah, I'd make just the requirement that they, they uh, conform to all local. Conform to all local boards and regulations. You still second that? Second. Excellent. Re-second. Any discussion? Second amended. Amended second. All right. All in favor? Aye. 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 Excellent. Thank you Thank very you. much. Thanks. Good luck. Thank you very Best much. Best of luck. <laughs> Super. Well, moving right along to a uh, continuance of a... Oh, I'm sorry. Continuance of a public hearing? Um, do we need to read the opening again? No? Just try to speak. Okay, we have a continuance for a public hearing for 496 Massachusetts Avenue. Do you want to need to reread the. Uh, no, he no. said you don't. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's a good thing you're tall. Thank you, sir. It's a good thing you're tall. Yeah. Good evening. My name is Anthony Cleves. I'm a Whitman and Bingham Associates here on behalf of the Lunenburg Water District. We also have representatives from the Water District here tonight as well. Um, so uh, last time we, we left, um, basically we had a, a list of, of things we needed to do. And for the most part, that was to address the review comments from Graves Engineering. And um, we've done that. Um, so I can go through however you would like. Basically, Graves' final comment was we've satisfied all their comments. Uh, m m much of them we discussed at the last meeting. We kind of knew where we are going to go with them. I can go through each of them if you'd like. Um, however, however you'd like to proceed, I'd be happy to, to take you through it. <laughs> Excuse me. Well, let me begin by uh, apologizing for not having been at the first hearing um, as the chair. 
And if you, if he gave you a blanket okay on all the comments? Yes. Yep. So it's not really blanket. So his, blanket his last his last sentence was, "We trust this letter addresses your review requirements for future contact." On in his email, he basically said we covered everything. Um, I can go through each one if you'd like, um, or um, whatever whatever you guys would like to do. I've already reviewed. You'd be here all night if you'd like. Uh, we already reviewed it. I think. Did we all review it yet? I. Or just did, did everyone have a chance to review the documentation last night? Yes. Yeah, it seems the uh, the re our review engineer uh, went through line by line all the concerns we had from last time and was for the most part okay with all the modifications. I was too. All right, and, and I noticed that you did the uh, the zoomed out yep, so of the drawing, yep. uh, which is exactly what I was asking for. Uh, so thank you for that. And then one other thing I, I added that isn't wasn't particular to the review letter. Mm -hmm. um, there was a, um, a question or comment regarding landscaping. Yeah. So we added a little more landscaping, and the probably the reality is probably be more landscaping added probably during construction. But we showed some more on there. I can point that out. Please. We had some more shrubbery around the transformer here. Um, one of the reasons we didn't have more landscaping in the front section is the septic tank is. Um, so anytime we have to pump it up, we have to dig that up. We also added uh, a planting bed on the front there. And there's going to be some more perennials planted in for a week. We added some oil to, to, to address that, that comment. I may feel like I can quickly go through all the comments or whatever you'd like. No, I believe everyone is understanding that the review engineer is satisfied with the, with the performance. Yeah. Thank you very much for addressing those. Thank you. Um, I do have some, and unfortunately I wasn't here for the first one. Um, it looks like you've got upwards of 28 feet of cut in some areas. Um, and we you have 20, you had 20 soil logs shown on the existing conditions, but we only had five logs expressed. Okay. Yeah. In, well, in reviewing in reviewing last meeting, um, there was considerable discussion about uh, the till that was out there, the very highly impermeable till mm. for the reason for the for the wick drain. Nope, that wasn't discussed. Nope, the, the reason for the wick drain is for to provide a hydraulic connection during the change of seasons from winter to spring, where you could sometimes have frozen ground, and um, but still have a rainstorm. Mm -hmm. So that's a, a means to provide a hydraulic connection of a four foot deep stone trench to get below the frost line. Okay, that's the that was the reason why. Um, that's one of our standard details, and not to, to backtrack, but it came up in a project of ours years ago from um, the Department of Environmental Service from New Hampshire. That was a requirement they had, so that became one of our standards. But Very good. Graves had made a valid comment about the four foot, uh, two foot separation to the bottom, and, and that was the discussion on that. And actually, let me follow up on that. One of the things we discussed at the last meeting was, do we get rid of it all together? Do we replace it with a sand, a sand trench? Um, we took it out all together, and one of the reasons that helped make that decision clear is this basin is in fill, and we already have a detail on our plan for any time there's a basin in fill, you fill it with septic sand. So the whole thing is septic sand at the bottom anyway, so that's why we didn't have a trench of septic sand, and you wouldn't even see it. Um, so it, it got eliminated altogether. Okay. Um, are there any further restrictions since they're in the uh, zone three of the aquifer protection no um, and was there any requirement for them to have a um, uh, impervious coverage listed at all don't believe so no. I think that's in the zone two, zone two. Yeah. Well, the reason the reason I bring that up is because of our upcoming ms4 permit and the stormwater task force that I'm on um, which is in permit area it would 
just it would be helpful, but if it's not a if it's not a requirement, we can't require it. Well, and I think it also we have to look at the fact this is a, a large lot, and they're using a a minimal portion of it, uh, and I don't think that even if we had a coverage requirement, they would be near hitting oh. it. Well, I'd, I'd, I'm, I'm, there's no doubt in my mind that they wouldn't be hitting it, but it would be nice to see it. So just my understanding is that it was part of the zoning requirement, minimal lot coverage. Um, there's, I didn't see any notes for uh, accessible uh, ADA. I did see your spot grades. They look compliant, but there's no note for it. What do you mean a note? Um, well, it is a public. It is a public facility, so it needs to be ADA compliant. And yeah. the, in, the, in the ADA area, in the parking area, no greater than two percent in any direction. Yeah. So it, it is designed that way. I see that it is. Yeah. So we don't usually put. We don't. I could note this to death about every regulation that exists in every book. So that if you need us to add a note to say meet ADA requirements, we can do that. We can also put meet building code and yeah, that's also meet zoning and meet every other thing you'd like to. But again, like ADA is whatever you'd like. We can add it on. Governed by the building code, it's not really part of our review. It's just a note. Um, you've got a tree on the electrical chases from the transformer. Which itself is not a big deal. Um, yeah, it's you know, in between the perimeter drain and the, and the conduit. Yeah. And I'm not quite sure why you need 30 feet width on the the back pavement. Just for, for maneuverability of their equipment to come in and around the building, in and out of the building, to get to their storage bins in the back. Didn't want to be too tight and cause cause issues with backing into the building and not having enough room. Okay. And then another thing I noted was that you 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 call out a proposed erosion control barrier, and I assume that you you mean the filter fence detail. On sheet on the on the same sheet, yeah. Erosion control plan, yeah. Yep. Yeah. So is that note referring to the filter fence detail? Yes, that okay. would be the erosion control barrier, correct. Okay. And we don't have a standard for that, do we? No. Um and you note that you've got revisions. You've responded to a uh, response from Neshoba. Have they approved your septic plan yet? Um, I believe that they had, they've they received our revisions, which was basically we addressed their comments. Uh, I, don't, I don't think we've gotten any comments back, which usually means they're all set, but we haven't, um, we haven't heard one back either way. But the comments were fairly minor from what I recall, and uh, so we had, I expect them these to be fine for that. Sure. Um, and we received conservation commission approval um, at their last meeting for for the work within the hundred foot buffer zone. Okay. Very good. Um, you're going with the fourteen parking spots. So. Yes, we haven't changed the okay. the, the parking yet. Uh, third, yeah, uh, fourteen, yeah. Yes, including that. No, the engineering note said it needed to be revised, but it's, uh, I was fine with the 14. No, no, so what, what that comment was, was not that the parking spaces needed to be revised, is that the calculation yep, yeah. of okay. the parking needed All to be right. revised. What it was, was um, you added I had used one space per 250 square feet. Okay. And the actual zoning is one space per a thousand. Right. So you um, needed less. So right, right. So it no, actually would. No, you needed less. I didn't want you to do less yeah. just because it's. Yeah. No. No. So we. Uh, th th I just revised that note okay. to accurately reflect the the zoning requirements. All right. Yeah. Great. Thank you. <laughs> the the one thing I'll bring up that was brought up last time, and I know uh, I I didn't notice it in here. It was just a question about the sign. I don't think it's a a major. Right. 
yep. one way or the other I just wanted to make sure that we covered it before uh, it seems like everybody's sort of getting their, their sure. stuff in line and, and just yep. so if, where when how yeah so we, we do show a proposed sign location down at the, the driveway entrance uh, at this time they're not sure exactly what the sign is going to look like the specifics on that um, we haven't gotten much further than the last meeting we had um, so I, I believe it should be reviewed by the planning board from what I understand so if that's something that could be a condition of approval mm -hmm. once they have the sign specifics that can be submitted for for your review I thought that's what, how we left it last time it was, perhaps it, I had a note about yeah. about the yeah. sign and I, I think what it would be is we would note that it the approval is exclusive of the sign and it would just come back and be a, um, an amendment okay yeah. Yeah. <coughs> discuss that yeah you'd have to come back before us yeah sure yeah, yeah. <clears throat> So I'd like to thank you for your thorough response to the review engineer's uh, comments. It's a well-prepared package. It's not often we get through most of a site plan review in two meetings, so I, I appreciate the work. Well, I also appreciate the board and, and the review engineer, too. Um, not here. I wanted to thank him if I saw him, but um, I know we're all very busy. It's a very busy time, and he was able to, to re-review it and turn around a letter in sufficient time for all of us to take a look yeah. at it. So uh, I thank uh, Graves Engineering as well. Yeah. Very good. So it looks like everything's in order. It's my failing. Before we close again. <coughs> Excuse me. Thank you. Is there any public comment? Seeing none. We're going to close, close the meeting. meeting. Sure. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you very much. Oh. No, no, that was no. closing. That was closing. So we can vote on it. Now we can vote on it. We still have to vote on it. That was closing the meeting, yeah? Yeah. 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 Uh, so uh, we can talk about any conditions, but I move that we approve the uh, plan as submitted with the understanding they'll come back for a uh, sign permit when the uh, drawings are completed. But other than that, I think we approve the drawings as submitted. Second. Second. Um, do we have to have all the conditions on the motion? Yes. Um, okay. Are we going to want to have an as-built on this? Yes. It's actually required by the rules and regulations. So, so it doesn't need to be that. a condition? It does not. Okay. Should we uh, include the Board of Health signing off on the septic system it's also required by law I, I mean they <laughs> they're not going to get a, uh, a building permit or a, an occupancy without the Board of Health signing off on it I mean if if you were to put conditions uh, it would be sort of standard stuff like that it's built according to the plan which kind of goes without saying if you wish to impose construction hours that would be something that would go in there um, you know you've express satisfaction with what they've put forward uh, so there's nothing on the plan that needs to be conditioned um, I don't believe as a matter of record it's it's necessary to condition things that are on the plan we do reference the plan date revision dates set number all of that stuff in our decision so it's very easy to figure out which plan should be referenced if someone opens the file um, so outside of like construction hours uh, or abiding by other boards and commissions, which they kind of need to do anyway, I, I don't see any any conditions unless there's something you think needs to be done that isn't expressly shown on the plans. Okay. Do we have standard construction hours, or are they based on? Uh, uh, we this do, board has not necessarily day. adopted standard construction hours. Um, generally, in a residential area, I would say you'd want to do like 7:30 to. 4 or 4.30. Uh, this is kind of a mixed area that they're not particularly close to any residents. Uh, I don't know that they're going to do a lot of Saturday construction. Uh, so, What's the latest do you think you would... Does the town and their town general bylaws have 
typical construction hours? We do not. We don't have a noise ordinance no, either. We just got, you know, 7, 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. is the, you know, it needs to be reasonable. And, you know, that's kind of determined by the situation and what's happening. Given the separation from the other houses that we saw on the plan and the, all things considered, I don't think it's necessary to impose hours of operation or hours of construction on them. And I'm fine with everything else on the plan. There's nothing sophisticated here. I don't think we need to specifically can get condition any other elements. Other than the sign. Other than the sign. Well, and that's not a condition because you can't condition further approval. Right, yeah. You can just, in the text of, of the approval, will note that the sign was not included as part of the approval. Right. Uh, and they would need to you know, request a modification in the future. Okay. All right, so is the standing motion valid? I believe so. All right. Was there a second? Yes. There was. Already was. Excellent. Any discussion? That's what we just had. <laughs> uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you very much. Thank Thanks. you very much. Thanks. Aye. Appreciate it. Thank you. Good luck. <clears throat> You guys need an extra set of plans? I have an extra so you all set. Okay. Thanks again. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. I probably should check good these. <sighs> yeah. Nothing I like more. All right. Moving right along to minutes approval. Was there any comments or concerns with the minutes of 42417? I was not there. Nope. None? Seeing none, I will nope. sign them. Initial them. Uh, for 2417 warrant article. Any comments, concerns, minutes? No? Nope. Uh, 42417 496 Mass Ave. Public hearing. Any comments, concerns? <laughs> 5117. No comment. No comment. 5117 warrant article. No comment. No comment. Excellent. Screaming right along. Committee reports. Stormwater Task Force. Um, we had a meeting since the last meeting of the Planning Board where the, um, the uh, client, the uh, DCI and uh, our uh, people working on this for us, with us, came in and we discussed uh, minimum control measures. Uh, we discussed getting a $25,000 grant through the community compact. Yes. And um, came up with bullet points for um, areas to use that money with and forwarded on to the uh, town manager. Um, and I believe that was the bulk of that meeting. No? Um, Agricultural Commission has not met since the last meeting of the Planning Board. Uh, Building Reuse Committee, are they still meeting? Building Reuse Committee has had their final meeting. I would just like to speak to the, uh, well, before I get to town meeting, I want to thank all the members who were part of that committee. I think it was one of the uh, most well-qualified groups of people we could possibly put together for that task, uh, with representatives from the selectmen, the planning board, the uh, historic commission, the school committee, and the finance committee, as well as members at large. Um, there was a lot of effort and uh, professional <coughs> knowledge that went into that uh, body of work that we completed. And I'm proud of everything that we did to try to come up with the best solution for the town possible. I know there's people at the town meeting who felt otherwise, um, but really the work that was put in and the knowledge that went to it to put together the plan that still, I believe what we're moving forward with is to put the municipal offices in the Passios building. Um, I'm very proud of that work that we did. and I. I would just caution the folks who, who kind of showed up for the first time in four years at town meeting who seem to think that, 
hanging on to all the buildings is a good idea. Uh, be happy to have a conversation with any of them at any time about the implications and the costs of that, as well as the downsides to just tossing away the Passios building because uh, the cost is in the tens of millions and $20 million range to, to, to just hold on to these buildings and, and do what was kind of floated at town meeting. Uh, so we arrived at the decision we came to to move municipal uh, offices down there because of not only the benefit to the people as far as what kind of amenities and facilities we can provide down there, as far as housing all the municipal offices under one roof, as far as keeping space where we can have uh, the extended day program possibly as a, a use in there, having space for the Boys and Girls Club to use the gym down there, be having space for the uh, PAC to have their cable offices down there, is, and, and plenty of room to expand in the future. At a greatly reduced cost, I'm talking a quarter of the cost of any of the other options uh, as far as hanging on to these other buildings. Uh, and, and, and the opportunity cost of, of holding on to these other buildings and what that does to the vision of the town center and creating that as a lively and uh, happening place to be proud of. Uh, that's not going to happen if we just hang on to these buildings and keep them as offices because nobody's going to get to enjoy them uh, the way they would uh, if they were part of the community and places that people visited on an everyday basis. Um, and again, the, the notion that we should expand onto the Ritter building to, to house Town Hall, you'd have to triple the size of the building. It wouldn't be the same building anymore. To the notion that you could possibly fit a school up at the old primary site, that lot's not physically large enough to meet MSBA standards for a school any longer. So all these things were thought of, and it's quick to dismiss that. I, I mean, I shouldn't take it so personally. It was only 50 people at the meeting at that point out of the whole cross-section of the town. But there was a tremendous amount of work and thought and put into the whole process and where we arrived. Um, so that's uh, how I'd like to leave that one. So it was a great last meeting. Excellent. Is that, is that it? Yeah, and I don't appreciate the if I may, slight there, from you. If I may, there was a lot of work put in. I don't think anybody can take that away from you. I, you know what I mean? I think that's going to stand on its own moving forward. And I, I don't think you should take offense because there were other reasons, I think, that other people um, didn't like the uh, warrant articles. <clears throat> Not necessarily because of what some people stood up and said, you know what I mean? So don't, don't take it to heart, you know? You got, <clears throat> I think you're on the right track, you know? I think a lot, of, a lot of the town agrees with you, and, you know, it's just going to take that extra bit of work now, you know, to push it over the edge, I think. So thank you for your work. Appreciate it. No doubt. It was a great effort, and it was a great group of people. I just, I don't think it's appropriate to chastise the community for not having agreed with your decision. I didn't chastise the community. That's I, what it sounded like. Anyways, Capital Planning Committee report? Again, would like to congratulate the members of that board for a good season and what we accomplished as far as getting approved in the Capital Plan. And very proud of the fact that we put the uh, spending fund together to save up for large capital expenditures, such as a new fire truck that hopefully we can purchase next year that's okay. all okay moving on the school building committee school building committee meets this wednesday may 10th at the high school collaborative room very good green community task force uh no update and no meeting schedule i'm going to choose a joint transportation commission the uh, meeting is scheduled for this <coughs> wednesday but unfortunately i will not be able to attend because i will be in san francisco uh, so if anybody would like to attend in my place, I still don't know who the second for Lunenburg is. What time does that start? Uh, 6.30. Okay. I believe the seconds of the select board for the MRPC and the MJTC, am I not? I don't believe that there is an alternate appointed right. at this time. It's supposed to be a primary and an alternate <laughs> for every town, and I, we haven't had an alternate, I think, since I became the primary. Plus, we want for MRPC too. But yeah. the select board does have an uh, appointee do? as well, so oh, okay. I think I think we don't really use alternate and primary, but oh. we oh. have two. Oh, okay. Right? We do have it. So, do we know who that person is? I don't do think know? that there is one. We could let them. Oh. Um, so they I, I think I think the last time this was brought up, we had this discussion. The selectman said that they haven't ever appointed one, um, and I don't know if it's for lack of interest or what. Uh, yeah. I can follow up with that again if you'd like. 
I believe I watched the meeting where they had a discussion on it, but they didn't ever. They kind of looked at each other. Like, well, no one really wants Nobody to do it. Their hand to do it. Yeah. I, I think that their I think their frame of reference was they felt it needed to be one of the five select board, uh, and and I would have to clarify with MRPC, but I believe they just need to appoint <coughs> a person, whomever it may be. Correct. Usually it's someone from the Department of Transportation or something of that nature. Oh, you mean like from the town, like from the DPW or... Correct, yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so, I mean, if I look around the room, it's planning board members and... DPW, yeah. people. Yeah, I believe that the same thing, the same issue was discussed at an MRPC meeting <coughs> um, last year. And they said the same thing. They Typically, it's someone from the DPW. But. Nice. Speaking of MRPC... Ah, MRPC. Yeah, no, I missed the last meeting again, unfortunately. Uh, the only news I have is that they'll be moving to the Doyle Center, 464 Abbott Ave in Lemister, by June 26th. So I'm assuming that the next meeting will still be um, in Fitchburg, and then they'll be moving over to the Abbott Center. Yeah, the MJTC I mean, the is Doyle Center. moving as well. To the same place? The nice same, yeah. Same, same. Oh. Well, it's all MRPC staff, right. correct? Yeah. They're, they're all moving on at the same time, so both meetings will be moving. And nothing on open space. Very good. No meeting call. Um, moving right along to the director's items. So we had a town meeting, as we've heard. Yes, we have. Uh, our first article was withdrawn for further follow-up. Um, we can have a discussion at that later this summer. Um, the common driveways were approved the marijuana passed without a single question or comment I almost fell over at the podium I've never stood up and had a zoning article pass without anything um, so yay for firsts um, and thank you for the I think it was the handout I confused them so much with the handout I was saying uh, that, that was a good handout <laughs> Made all the difference. So, uh, thank you, you for know, that. Adam. But it, it wasn't a handout. Thank you. I think it helped. We had it, uh, it was a it was a good and lively meeting, and there was much discussion and a slight panic about lack of quorum. But uh, all adds to the fun, even though we had a quorum. Yeah, I think at that point people needed a break, anyways. <laughs> uh, so that bl brings us to definitions and use table. Who's ready? So I'm sorry. The the what happened with the building reuse? Oh, I'm sorry. All four articles were either they. I think the first two failed, and the last two were passed, passed over because we so saw I mean, the trend. Yeah, they all just sort of went away, and now building reuse has dissolved, and um, the selectmen, town manager, and you know town employees will have to carry the the load from from now forward to what happens, how it happens, when it happens, uh, etc. So. I would imagine it will either fall to the town manager or the selectmen will have to form a town office consolidation committee and manage it through that process. I don't know that they have an appetite for that. Uh, I, it seems that they've tried to move away from forming new committees in general, uh, which I can't necessarily uh, fault them for with the, the effort they have to put in to fill the existing committees. So, uh, what what happens with them and how it happens is going to remain to be seen. My initial impression from the additional information that was requested from the town folks, another expensive study, is what the next step is going to be. Potentially. I mean, it, uh, we spent over $30,000 on the TEP-A study to mm -hmm. do the space needs allocation, and then you can't, you can't put a cost on building a facility or moving into a facility without, without real engineering plans. Study. Yeah. yeah. All right. So yeah. uh, it's, I mean, and the next step is six figures, I think. Yeah, significantly more than $30,000. Yeah. Uh, and the recodification passed. Uh, and now, uh, I anticipate sometime over the summer, we'll have a public hearing to recodify our rules and regulations, um, both sets, mm -hmm. uh, subdivision and site plan. Uh, and with the subdivision, we'll make some changes, I assume, to address maybe the lot monumentation issue uh, within the A&R process. 
uh, and maybe that gives the ability to start looking at moving away from the zoning bylaw and require creation of new lots to uh, handle the pinning and maybe then looking at the zoning bylaw it that language changes some uh, and we can address the complete streets at the same time sounds good you want to they're very specific at the state level about what you can and cannot put into an ANR or what you can and cannot approve in an ANR so you want to make lot pinning part of that process correct <clears throat> Just to simply say that it has to be it has to be pinned. Mm -hmm. And again, I I I I'm not a hundred percent sure that that's something that we could do or how we would do it. I'm yeah. saying it's something that we we can you certainly explore research. as okay. we okay. as we look at that. Okay. Uh, I, it's it's something that we've certainly talked about, and I would imagine the time where you're performing the division is the time to do it well it just it makes a little bit more sense that's what i think sure it yeah. does but kind of my question is to say you have like a 10 acre lot and you subdivide it into two five acre lots and then somebody else wants to subdivide it into one acre lots um it seems like it's kind of redundant to have them pin it after the first this subdivision and then pin it again and as it's written it says no building permit shall be issued until it's pinned yeah but so don't forget each time you subdivide it the corners should be the creating new corners right right so you have but the existing ones pinning. should be the same right, those okay. still in, right. in some manner right yeah. right right yeah my my understand my feeling is that from the concerns that were expressed from the board and also the public when we spoke about that mm -hmm. to really capture those concerns it would have to be at, at the division of property not so much at the filing for a building permit mm -hmm. okay well, I think that you, when you do it at the building permit, you may be passing that cost on to an end user as opposed to the, the person looking to continually create new lots. If David has 50 acres and he starts chopping it up and the other four of you buy them and he's spent the money on the survey but not on the pin and then he sells it to you, you're required to have the pins in before you get a... A right. building permit and so you know it, it just kind of a lot of the concern I've heard is you know this shouldn't be a cost that the property the end user should have to be absorbing mm -hmm. uh, but it should be done and so then it should be done at the genesis of the lot is is I think one way to, to look at that mm -hmm. But okay. that's how is it being addressed now though I mean I know we've identified the issue and we you and I had had a brief discussion and I know that the Board of Health had requested that it be enforced well the building inspector is, enforces it he, but, he requires them to to prove that the pins are there but it is currently well, yes okay. it is currently being enforced much to the chagrin of those seeking building permits Right. Well, again, I attended the board of, uh, the board of health meeting after our uh, May first meeting, and they did actually have a local excavation company owner there. So they asked his opinion, and he seemed to think that it wasn't inappropriate to have them pinned. I, so. I don't think it's inappropriate. I just think it's outside of the norm to have it as a zoning bylaw. Mm -hmm. Do you know some other towns who have uh, integrated it as part of their A&R process? Harvard, I believe. I was going to say, not off the top of my head, that would be the first place I would go and look, and then it would, you know, be if if it start with the A&R handbook and and the state law, and if there's either silent or I think it's possible, then I'd go and look at what other towns have. Okay, so you're going to need some time then. So sometime this summer we'll talk. Yeah, about I, 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 w I would. I'd put something together and and bring it along. Okay. I mean, I, I'm not going to wait too long because we need to get the complete street stuff in there, and mm -hmm. we need to to catch up with the codification. But okay, uh, it's not going to happen in the next two or three weeks. Right. All right. Thank you. Um, definitions and use table. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Who brought the box of Joe? Yeah. <clears throat> so if I'm not mistaken, we stopped at recreational uses the last time around. That's my recollection. Yep, that's where I put the B. 
break. Was it break or <laughs> something uh, else? Beer, maybe? Oh, could have been. <laughs> So some of these are going to be new uses um, that we don't currently have in the bylaw, stuff like indoor entertainment um, that I, I feel is probably something we're going to see coming on the horizon a little bit. Uh, that would be stuff like, oh, let's look at the definition. It, it would be in the vein of arcades or... Uh, indoor nerf parks or something where you go and, and pay to be entertained indoors. Yes. Um, indoor nerf park, that is a building we use. Huh? Yeah. Indoor nerf, yeah, I mean, <laughs> I'm working on a project right now and it's the, even the developer who's doing it really believes it's going to be a building type that's going to explode in the future, the near future. Really? It's, it's, yeah. what? As far as indoor entertainment and uh, but the facility I'm working on is, is four-story building, 180,000 square feet, something of that nature. It's got uh, one of the tenants is virtual reality gaming. It's nothing but an empty room with everyone puts headsets on and they think they're in another world. And, cool. and uh, you get laser tag, you get mini golf, you get or, uh, the golf simulators, bowling, <coughs> go-karts, all, all under one roof. So. Mm. Be nice if we get something like that in town. So. So, you know, and, and I don't know if, if you want to let that bleed into the office park industrial. Uh, we, I know we have limited industrial land in town. Uh, I kind of tried to keep it away from that uh, just based on the limited size that we have. Mm -hmm. uh, I might, well, but, it, you know, it's going to tend to be on the larger scale of of yeah. what we're dealing with. As far as a building typology and the size of these facilities, I think yeah. it'd fit in there. It w exactly, but I also don't know if it, you know, if it would be out of place or, or take away land that might bring industry, but I, I don't know that we necessarily are going to support industry in this town right. uh, based on our, our infrastructure. Yes, we that's have, the word I was looking for. We don't for. have that to support. I mean, a tenant's right. a tenant, right? I would, I At would, this point. Yeah, I would put a why. I, I would say yes, but uh, before we do that, I mean, we're on indoor entertainment. We kind of skipped over commercial We did. Because I think we're missing a Y in the Route 2A. Over yeah, we are. I'm sorry. I, I wrote that in the last time when I was going down. Okay. All right. That was the only one I had on that line. I just wanted to make sure we had it covered. Commercial recreation. But I would, uh, yeah. I would put a Y on... For, for industrial? For it, office park industrial for mm -hmm. indoor yeah. entertainment? Yeah. And then again, Route 2A, wouldn't that also be a Y? Uh, yeah. Correct me if I'm wrong, but Route, Route 2A and Tritone follow commercial. Is that correct? There it is. Oh, you that matter what? Would, you, would that be appropriate for <coughs> Summer Street? The indoor. It would be a Y. Uh, well, yes, because it, it would be on. I would think it'd be a special be. permit in retail, so you'd be yes in commercial and yes in office industrial. So, yeah, it would be a Y in the 2A. And what about the Village Center District? Wouldn't that be appropriate? Not per the current zoning we have. Uh, I think that most of the uses in there are going to be a larger footprint building. Yeah. And I think that's been counter and you know antithetical to what everyone has identified as what they would desire in the village center uh, especially where we looked at limiting footprint of retail uh, and limiting use of or construction of larger buildings outside of what currently exists mm -hmm. uh, it's a discussion that could certainly be had I just I didn't feel that it was in the spirit of what uh, this body and, and the public that commented on the village had sort of envisioned for that. Okay. 
Lunenburg. There are a couple of large, I, th- I believe, that are still in, in Lunenburg, a couple of large lots on Summer Street. Yes. Where it might be appropriate yeah. to have something like that. And, and there, it's commercial and industrial down yeah. there. So you, yeah. Oh, it is commercial. Yes. Though. Okay. Well, would you want to include it, though, under s- as well? Would you say yes under Summer oh, Street? Oh, I see what you're saying. I, I, I'm sorry. <laughs> I wasn't. I wasn't making that same connection. <laughs> okay. <laughs> because the re- you know it is a separate district. So would you yes, it to- is. Okay. Um, you can also use the underlying district in an overlay. Okay. Um, I just thought if you included in there, it would clear. You know, clarify. It would. Because either one. The use is permitted within Summer Street. Any use permitted. Oh, so it would be a Y there anyway. Yeah. So what about? Yeah, I thought I thought we said yes to theaters and so forth in the village center district. We yeah. said a a two a two, a two screen, screen theater. theater small small theater well, that would count as that would be indoor. yeah I guess it would. And then it would just be, be a, a Y in the VCD. And we would just need. Oh no, that was a special permit. The theater was a special permit. Oh, you're right. It was okay. Special permit. What about Whalum? I'm sorry? Whalem overlay. It's pretty much... It'd be a Y, y commercial and Whalem overlay. C-Y? C yes. Because there is that there is It was that an entertainment portion. district, I mean, originally. And, oh, and there is that so one remaining commercial lot on, right. the, on the Lemonster line. Right. Well, I'm sorry. So you're saying it would be a Y for indoor entertainment? For which district? For Whalem Overlay? Be C dash Y. Because in the commercial it district, it would be yeah. a yes. In the oh, residential district, it would, yeah. I got you. Okay. Okay. Um, did course. we say yes for Summer Street? Yes. Because Summer Street is commercial and industrial. Okay. How do you differentiate between a golf course and a driving range? Do you? Because there is a driving range right next to the Whalum. It's not in the district, I don't believe. But No, it's not in the district. Um, we would go to the definition, attractive land laid out with at least nine holes for playing a game of golf and improved with tees, greens, fairways, and hazards. A golf course may include a clubhouse, restaurant, golf-related retail restrooms, driving range, and shelters as accessory uses. So if it's so, not, so if it's a primary use, it would have to be in a... Where would we put that? A golf course? A uh, driving range. Oh, a driving range? Outdoor We'd have to create a definition and then determine where you wanted to put it as a primary use. Now, the one that exists is pre-existing non-conforming. So it doesn't matter. So it would be irrelevant. Yep. Um, whatever happens, it continues to hold its ability to exist as long as it's not disused for a period of two years. Okay. And then That's it fine. becomes abandoned. That's fine. I wouldn't want to... Con- you know, why complicate it if we don't, you know, until we need to, so... Unless anyone feels... But if somebody did want to put one in somewhere, how would they go about that? We would have to define it. it, The definition would have to exist and there'd have to be some manner of allowing it. Or else any use not defined is prohibited. Mm. So, Do you think they should define it? For all those golf lovers out there? Honestly, I think a, a driving range could be an accessory to a golf course or we could have it as an accessory I I think a lot of those sit by themselves driving ranges well they, they, they all, do every golf course has a driving range correct but there's a lot of because like Lancaster Golf I mean they just closed that wasn't part mm-hmm. of a and even Kimball's I mean I mean it's kind of but there's a lot I mean batting cages you know go-kart track there's all kinds of outdoor recreational activities that might be I would say equivalent yeah we don't have that covered uh, at all it, so I'm hearing that that's something that you would like to cover something yeah I'm just not sure what how to create the catch-all well I guess we could add we have indoor recreation we have commercial outdoor. recreation an establishment whose main purpose is to provide the general public with an amusing or entertaining activity where tickets are sold or fees are collected for the activity Includes but not limited to skating rinks, water slides, miniature golf courses, arcades, bowling alleys, oh, billiard right. halls, but not movie theaters. Should we change that to activity slash activities? Because like the driving range has batting cages, so it's not one activity. Uh, yeah, we can it's pay activity or collection of activities. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just and just so add in that kind of batting cages, golfing 
driving range. You don't have to list every. And I know we're backtracking back to definitions now, but you just listed off bowling and billiards under commercial recreation. Would those be more appropriate in the indoor entertainment? <laughs> Uh, yes, ah, they would be. Not no, they would. Uh, arcades, bowling alleys, and billiards should all be down here. All right. Maybe we just need indoor recreation and outdoor recreation. Kind of what it sounds like. Yeah. Right. Or indoor <coughs> entertainment and outdoor entertainment. Yeah. Billiards is already in four four. That because Kimball Farms yes, is well, outdoor entertainment. Well, they have both. Yeah. Well, they have both. They have an arcade. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Right. Yeah. Well, you could have a. They have a store. You could have the commercial. Have an establishment that did both as long as there was a conflict in the right. location. Mm -hmm. right? right. I mean, I, I think it should be allowed. What I mean, but I would say that wherever you're indoor limited, entertainment just the one is allowed, your is outdoor entertainment. Maybe. Well, actually, I disagree with that. I, I was going to say, be the other way wherever around. outdoor is allowed, you'd allow indoor, but yeah. not necessarily the other way around. Firing. I don't know that you want to allow indoor entertainment in the recreation district. Well, what's the, the recreation district is really the golf course that's already there and, and fixing yeah, to be solar panels. It. Yeah. So it's not a lot of opportunity. Mm -hmm. And they, they actually do line up. With the exception of um, the village center, and I think the outdoor, the commercial recreation, if you want to call it outdoor recreation or outdoor entertainment, I don't know if you want to change that definition. Uh, I think would be out of place in the village center. Mm -hmm. Correct. This, I, this is purely not the room for it either. Well, yes. That would be out of place. That could be nice for the center town. Some go-karts? Right around the Passios? Yeah. Oh, would be a perfect that. track for it. Sure. Get the kids indoor, outdoor, like F1? Yeah. Get a little toll booth. You have to pay for the building. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if the neighbors are like the screeching of the tires, though. That's not yeah. that much. Maybe they'll be pedal powered. Everything else. <laughs> anyway, so indoor entertainment is we're done now. In the golf course, yeah. indoor recreation. Set. What's that? What were we talking about? In entertainment versus recreation? No, whether you wanted to, to rename commercial recreation or just leave it as it is. I think it'd be helpful to have an indoor and an outdoor because it's yes. Um, so do we call it commercial? Change the commercial one to outdoor entertainment, and then revise the example mm -hmm. list to only include outdoor entertainment. Examples. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And if there's any indoor examples in it, move those as examples to indoor entertainment. If you think they needs more clarity, uh, they're already in there. Um, so <laughs> I'll, I'll just add one or two to the outdoor. All right. Just so next is golf course. I think do we have any concerns uh, on that one. That one looked okay to me. Yeah, again, kind of the tough spot where we only have one golf course that occupies all the re all the recreation district. So if somebody wanted to do another one, they can't just based on where it's a allowed. special permit in the outlying. Oh, I missed that one. Okay, so that's not that bad. Uh, you know, I mean, really, golf courses are are getting smaller. They tend to now install executive or nine hole courses more than eighteen hole courses. Uh, mostly because people don't want to spend the time to play 18. So they see <coughs> golf, the golf, and I, I know this because I worked in a community that owned a golf course that was leasing it and was looking at taking it back and they did a, a large study and they were finding that the 18 hole courses were struggling while nine hole courses were thriving hmm. uh, because people could just pop in and play nine. Do an A and R and have two golf courses. <laughs> <laughs> two nine hole golf courses. Don't forget to pin the corners. <laughs> yeah. Two clubhouses. <laughs> Tons of parking. Uh, uh, no, I don't. Maybe I'm completely out of line here because, you know, I don't have that much experience in this stuff. But should we be worried about tents? People erecting tents versus actual structures. In what sense? Recreational. No, on recreate for indoor recreation. 
Or is that way out of line? Permanent or like a, Like an air-supported structure or like p- going to sure. the Army surplus and or, putting up, uh, yeah. you know, like a... Like, like a, a like semi mess hall. A semi permanent, right, yeah. They like do a, that at Nagog and Act, uh, and they have a s- tennis camp where in the summer it's open air, and in the fall yeah. through winter they put a giant bubble over is that, well, Maybe that's down the road. N- n- once you exceed 200 square feet on a tent, you need a building permit. Oh, okay. And so, so it's you covered. get into this, and, and you know, if you're erecting something that's going to be. A you know s- place where you're bringing people in, you start needing to have health facilities and electricity. You know, you yep. need to meet certain requirements. Criteria. And so, I, I you know, an air supported structure is a structure. That's you need a permit for that. You can yeah. run those all year round. They're a little dicey in New England sometimes, but uh, I don't know if you have any more experience with them or not. I just know. They're they're kind of uh, they're, they're more trouble than they're they're worth I I, I think in yeah. in our climate. Uh, no, I was just, I, <clears throat> yeah. It's just a support structure. Well, the bubble Maybe in some, Magog, is, to have the snow a, removal is a huge mm-hmm. for every inch you have covering the bubble. When it falls down, it becomes a foot. It's, it's definitely <laughs> not the first choice for anyone. Yeah. They were a fad for a while, and I think some of them have collapsed, and a lot of those places have gone back to open span structures, um, and just bit the bullet and spent the money on a. Yeah, no, as long as there's some, you know, there are some requirements about. Uh, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't think I'm we're going to end up with a people tent city. having erecting Quonset huts. You know what I mean? That kind of Yurts. thing. A lot of those uh, uses we listed off are really sensitive to environmental things too, as far as moisture and air quality, and mm-hmm. yeah. So I. Okay. A lot of, I don't think many of those could function within a tent, yeah. <laughs> tent city. <laughs> Not for very long, anyway. Yeah, okay. All right, so private club next? Yep. yep. I thought it was fine the way it was, but... Could we have a private club special permit in the recreation? Because a private camp is by right? Well, a private club and private camp are... I believe drastically different. Drastic. Private club is like Knights of Columbus. It's like a, a function like a hall sport, or a sportsman's m- club, or a sportsman's club, which is recreational. Or a pool club. Yeah. Or yeah, or a pool club. Or but I mean, you you pay you buy a membership tennis and club. a swim yeah. club. Uh no, I. I Ten, the, tennis club qualifies. Golf th- club does it? The golf course doesn't qualify. Okay. Or, I knew that I there was some restrictions in there. It, the facilities may include swimming pools and or tennis courts, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, the club kind of refers to the use and the camp is more of the land. That's what's in the definition. Because mm-hmm. a private club is open to bona fide members, guests, but the private camp is land under single ownership. So yeah, so the private camp is where you're... People are paying you for use of that land, right. and that doesn't mention any of the the swimming pools and the tennis courts and golf mm-hmm. courses. It's I think they're distinctly different. I mean, we if you guys wanted it in in the recreation, we we could. But again, I, I think you know the recreation is a limited area. So if the golf yeah. course wanted to go private, that would that would allow them to buy special permit. Well, the golf course is a golf course. If they want it to be a private golf course, they could do that. And I don't think that necessarily falls into the club use, it's a golf course use, because that's the primary use. Mm-hmm. And if they have a private club where, you know, if it became a country club of sorts, mm-hmm. and it was all based around golf, as many are, um, and they, ha- they put a dining room up and you had to spend so much at the clubhouse, that's all accessory to the golf course use at that point. Okay. The, uh, the last thing on private club was the, uh, in the Whalen overlay, it has to be RA slash SP. It's that's correct. SP. Oh, yeah. any more changes on private club or private camp? No, they look good to me. 
I had a big question mark on recreation. What is that? Mm, it's just kind of... <laughs> doesn't really make sense. That's probably why. Oh, yeah, it does, I guess. Boating, fishing, swimming. Refreshment of body and mind. So we've got commercial recreation, and then mm -hmm. we've got blanket recreation, but all the recreation stuff is outdoors. So would that... This is more passive recreation. If you would that want to be outdoor recreation? Well, we've changed commercial recreation to outdoor entertainment. Commercial recreation is now outdoor entertainment? Yes. Uh, hmm. So if you'd like, we can then make recreation, commercial recreation, because in theory it would be, no, because I guess it could be, you know, non-profit. Commercial. Yeah. Man. This definition of recreation is just passive recreation. Yeah. Right. It's mm -hmm. not talking about those other things. No, it's not. Because Littleton has uh, extensive recreation, is what they call it. And it's on a larger scale. So should we change that from recreation to just passive recreation or nature recreation or something? Within the definition it says, or maybe passive such as. I mean, boating, fishing, swimming. It's all nature related though. Well, what about well, why um, getting in touch with my feminine side here? What about no, day spa stuff? That's covered under personal service. Oh, okay. Okay. Because that's more, and there's, there's also a definition the spiritual here. Spiritual enlightenment. This, the, yeah, is okay. it, I don't think it's spiritual enlightenment, but it's something to that effect. Well, yeah, but. <clears throat> there's personal improvement. What does an amusement park fall under? Hopefully not recreation. Banned. Huh? Banned. <laughs> yeah, but. You say a refreshment of the body and mind through form of play and amusement. You could, you might be able to argue. That I mean, you could, you could actually, that you could make the argument that it would be commercial recreation because you're paying for the entertainment. And water slides is included in the definition of commercial recreation. So mm -hmm. I don't think water slides is a is a far jump to tilt a whirl or so if roller you're coaster. So to go boating, is that commercial recreation or recreation? What about a playground? Uh, I would say paying to boat would be more recreation. Uh, these other ones... If we're using pay as the definition... Yeah, I, I, I see what you're saying. <laughs> you can't say that one pay for mm -hmm. play is commercial and the other pay for play is not. Mm -hmm. Well, and that's no longer commercial, it's indoor, or it's outdoor entertainment. The top, the first... Yes. Outdoor entertainment. Yep. And that's, you know, more on the... Yep. Entertaining side of things than it is on... in the recreation area. Not that those things aren't entertaining, but it's a more fast-paced. I mean, we could eliminate the recreation... I mean, I think we have to fix the terminology. Mm -hmm. When I see recreation, I'm thinking of places like state parks, mm -hmm. not places like amusement parks. And we don't need to permit a state park. I yeah, mean, it's... No, no, but I, mean, no I, but I, I understand, that, but we don't need to... Like, I think Shady Point is, would qualify under recreation. Okay. But, but if right. I built an amusement park across the street, I don't think it would qualify. Right, so I think we just have to mm -hmm. firm can, up the definition can you, somehow. Okay. It, would it hurt to get rid of that? Because these are sort no. of self-refreshment yeah. of body. And, you know what I mean? Yeah. This is things that you do on your own at existing. No, it would not harm us to get rid of that. So it, it might be just get, get rid, rid of, of recreation. Use? What? Get rid of the use? Yeah. That, yeah. Well, the definition in, in the table. Because because what are you permitting? Are you, I mean, is someone going to permit Whalem Lake? Right. You know what I mean? No, of course not. It's already there. You know, if, it's, if it has a... And that's if it has a place to well swim, then you're just going to go swim. <clears throat> refreshment right. of the body is open to interpretation because it's. Well, and again, well, for, what what for about a playground? Play using a relaxation. Mm, that's an interesting point. Yeah, so say they wanted to build a housing development and add a playground. Uh, that would be accessory use to the primary use of the. I mean that that would fall into the accessory of of a residential use. I don't think that would be a. 
uh, that, I, mean, I, I wouldn't interpret that to even fall into a use uh, because it's part of the residential use. Okay. I'm just not sure. As opposed to, say, a retail store associated with a manufacturing facility. Mm -hmm. uh, the New Balance factory has a, a store out front that's, you know, a 5,000 square foot use where they're selling their factory seconds. That is associated with the manufacturing, but it's a different type of use. Whereas I think a playground associated with an apartment complex is all part of people living there. Right. So you don't permit it. Correct. It's just there. Yeah, that, that, and I, I'm saying about yeah. this. Yeah. It doesn't even belong in the table because... Right. That's, that, I think that's so what David's saying. saying. Like, yeah. Was that I have some conservation land. I'm going to donate it to conservation so people can go hiking there. Oh, sorry. It's not in a recreation yeah. area. Right. Yeah. You can't donate it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Was that a leftover from our previous definitions or did you add that? You know, I, I'm... I think that it was a little bit of both. I think I interpreted something in here to be recreation, and I sort of forced a definition in there to go with it when I had already addressed most of what I think was meant by it up above in the indoor-outdoor entertainment stuff. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm... It just seems superfluous to me. Uh, well, I mean, it's... I, I don't know... I wasn't sure why it was here. Mm. I, could, I could see why you would have it there, because it's not... It's not making you get a permit for any of those things, really. It's well, what would you need a permit for? In the, the but again, like you just said, with a permit, if you it. left it for conservation or something like that, you could leave land for that type of. But once it's public land, all of that stuff is essentially allowed outside of the swimming. Yeah, I mean, wouldn't you wouldn't you be saying that it's permitted everywhere? <clears throat> That's kind of what it's doing. It's saying that it's okay to do that. Yeah. So. I suppose you could do that, yeah. I mean, it wouldn't hurt to have it in there, but it would, I would permit it throughout, except for maybe what, like industrial? You wouldn't want people going, you know, I'm going to go jog in the industrial park. Yeah, technically, or, I guess I it thought if be. it's not on the table, it's prohibited. Right, well, that's what I'm saying, right. So you, you might put it in there everywhere. If it is going to be in there, then it ha would have to be special permit instead of yes. Where? Recreation. In what? In residence A, resident B, outlying. Uh, I would think no, no, it to be allowed. I think we. Am I right? Why not? So if I have if I have land on the lake, I can let people hike on it, or I can create a swimming area and charge for it. Yeah. Okay. Well, we're, this is all this recreational is, use. This is under the heading 4.4 recreation. So I don't think we have to have a 4.4.6 called recreation as well. I also think that 4.1 and 4.2 should be commercial outdoor entertainment and commercial indoor yeah. entertainment. Yes. So if, it's, if you're charging someone, it's commercial right. entertainment. Exactly. It's commercial recreation. Right. If it's just, if you're not charged, if it's me going swimming in my lake, exactly. it's just, it's recreation. You need a special permit that for that. That seems like what you're saying here. You wouldn't need any yeah, permit yeah. for that. I, I agree with you, and I and it's it's a blend of I tried to split out what was already in the recreation district, and I think I I divided one too many. Okay. Okay. So is your official recommendation? Yes, I think I think we should, no, I think we should just set us in it. Okay. And strike it. That's okay. good enough for me. It's it's not going to harm anything, and and public land is public land is public land, and you. Yeah. Right. You know. Now let's get to the fun one. About use. Yeah. <laughs> Can't miss is that, that where one. we are? Oh yeah. <laughs> now I don't understand why that's not allowed in residence A. Right. <laughs> Again, or at least as a Spanish. primary use. <laughs> oh, primary. <laughs> okay. Oh boy. So is this? You pretty much this just is take the, off this of what is, we had already. Yeah, this is the definition that was already in there. So the C has to be SP. Please. Special permit, special permit. Yeah, Whalem is CSP. Yeah, and so is 2A. 2A is just SP. Uh, 2A. Yeah. yeah. Whalem uh, says CY. SS. But it's CSP? Summer it should be CSP. Summer yeah. Street should be CSP. Right. Yeah, yes. it's Summer Street. Yeah. yeah. Unless you want to go for a little Amsterdam thing and get the uh, recreational marijuana and the adult use. Not really. Go on. 
it's not really a, you, can't, oh, you can't get that in the village yeah. so I said little Amsterdam little Amsterdam exactly <laughs> I'll fill those four buildings up I was going to say there's your use for the Passios yeah. <laughs> sheepers no no takers all right <clears throat> Um, since the auction house specifically states livestock, I think it should also be a special permit in the outlying district. Okay. Building areas for the building. Any discussion auction, on that? Auction house should be. I had yes on route two A. Is that yep, that's correct. correct. And it should be C Y and C-Y Whale. C Y on Whale. And C Y on Summer Street. If it's an auction house with animals is that an agricultural use i don't believe so see why summer street and route two yes also see why route two a is just why just why okay see csp right in summer street but no SP. it's sp in summer street no it would be see why so it says the auction house excludes livestock and motor oh vehicles. excludes all right oh i, th- I was gonna say i didn't Does think it say exclude no yeah per- the yeah. sale. This definition excludes there from an auction the principal purpose. Yes, livestock and motor vehicles. Sell livestock or motor vehicles. So then it shouldn't be in the outline. Mm-hmm. Correct. Okay. Mm-hmm. Thank you. I was surprised I included livestock auction. It seems like messy business. Could be. What's Ooh, that? Flame livestock auction. auction. They have one in Littleton. Need a lot of space. Flame auction. Can I go buy a half a cow? Or do I have to buy the whole thing? So then what if we did want to have a livestock auction Auction that's not listed in the uses, so it's not permitted? Correct. <clears throat> so where are we? Bed in, unless, unless it would fall under agricultural and would be exempt from... Everything. Yeah. On five acres it's or more. Sticky. Yeah, why? Well, I, I guess we've made it almost 300 years without a livestock auction and... And nobody's nobody's come and said, "Hey, let's put a livestock auction in." Uh, I, I hate to add uses just to add uses. Right. No problem. We have it right here, like Blazing Saddles. <laughs> I mean, it, it, if there if if there were a large outcry for a livestock auction, I, I certainly think that we could discuss it and have a, a, a you know find a place for it. I just don't want to. Unfortunately, I, mean, I, I could think of a bevy I think, I think of uses that I could define and put in the table, but I don't know that they're realistic. Mm. Right. So let's hit bed and breakfast. That's much more fun. This is essentially the same definition that we have. Okay. Because it was fairly thorough before. Um, you'll notice that it's about six pages shorter than it used to be. Yeah. Uh, because all of the other language function facility catering um, plate spinning all of that was accessory too so in the accessory use section which I'll send out in a little bit once I've got the design standards and the the overlay districts kind of worked into it um, those will be in there as accessory use too Uh, and I I did make a little bit of a change on some of them uh, to include uh, catering from a restaurant so if someone wishes to bring their nice restaurant to town please everybody who has a nice restaurant bring it to town um, they can also run a catering business out of it to uh, supplement and you know fill in a, a niche that we probably don't have right now mm-hmm. and likewise if you had a bed and breakfast a supplement use would be yes catering functioning restaurant yeah correct okay. right All right, that one. Good. That one all looked good as far as I was concerned. Goodly dokely. Theater. I kind of left this because it was in there before. Um, I don't know that we necessarily have any place that's going to support a drive-in theater. Yeah, somebody have to try off all. I think that uh, Summer Street Route Two A and Whalem all have to be adjusted. To yes. Yep. <clears throat> if somebody can find a lot big enough, more power to them. Well, and yeah, that's really kind of what it comes down to. So the outline would be inappropriate. Why? Traffic late night in a residential neighborhood. Which one? Outline. 
that was sort of my thinking was outlying is probably our quietest areas uh, and although they may be the most sparsely populated that sound is going to travel the most and the impact of clearing five acres to put up a four-story screen uh, and project movies late into the night uh, I thought was potentially harmful to that district. Well, that's a special permit process, isn't it? But that's fine. It, it, I mean, it, again, I'm. these were my original suggestions. I'm more than open to discussing it and having the board decide that they, they'd like to add or remove things. It's This is certainly not a definitive table of how the uses have to be laid out. And that's, I think, why we're going through this exercise. So if it's something well, I mean, you feel strongly about, I, I think that there's four people to your left that would be the ones who, who you need to address. I'm I'm not the decider. I'm, I do feel I'm the suggester. I do feel strongly about it, and it's not specifically about drive-in theaters. It's about the outlying district. Um, the more you restrict development in the outlying district to anything but houses, the more houses you're going to get and the smaller parcels you're going to get. That's basically what's going to happen. Um, people in the outlying district have large, there are large parcels of land, and if there is nothing they can do but sell it to a developer, that's probably what they'll do when they get restricted so far they can't farm it anymore at a practical, reasonable use. But that's probably not a good place for a drive in theater, I agree. And on that particular topic, I, I'm not sure drive-in theaters are really financially viable anymore, are they? I'm not sure that business model works anymore. No, I, I think that they're very niche, and I think that you have to have uh, some sort of cachet to be able to really bring that forward. I mean, I, I know there's one or two that are, you know, really making a go of it, but they have, I don't think it's their primary means of funding. I think they probably barely break themselves even and they bring in funding from other places. Hotel? Uh, drive through window. Oh, drive through window, I'm sorry. Um, and this is more of a supplemental use. Yeah, wouldn't that be accessory? I mean, you're not going to have... Yeah, I, I think it probably will go down to accessory. And regardless of if you keep it or not, the they all have to be CSPs in the uh, yes. Otherwise, but I agree, it's an accessory. Um, Route two A. Well, it's all CSPs. It's probably going to come out of this chart anyway. Yeah, right? it probably will. And same thing for hotel. Those would all be CSPs. Uh, um, hotel in Route 2A, is that going to be allowed or a special permit? Uh, it'd be a special permit. Unless you want to open up your hotel business here and we want to start allowing them as a more... I think special permit's fine. Just for consistency, you need to change drive through window to drive, drive through, through service. service. Yeah. And, uh, you know, as you guys mentioned, it will come out of here. <coughs> Laundry service. Okay. Route 2A has to be <coughs> Y. Yep. <coughs> And Whalem is C dash Y. It's Summer Street too. It's Summer Street Summer too. Street yeah. Is Y or C dash Y? So it would be C dash Y and Whalem. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Village Center District, we don't want to allow a laundry service. The dry cleaners. Yeah, that should be by special permit. Should Where? Uh, Village Center. We yeah, didn't, wait, didn't include it in the original scope. Again, the point of the Village Center District was to keep a very limited scope of uses allowed so that everybody would be comfortable with 
Yeah, but it's, you it's also a place to congregate and do your basically one-stop shopping. That's a service that we don't have currently in town, I don't think. Well, it, if you're going to have a group kind of thing, no. housing, you know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. you might need... I was going to say, laundry service and dry cleaning are separate. Oh, they are separate. Dry, oh, cleaning, are. dry cleaning would fall under personal service because you're paying someone else to do the work. Laundry service would be laundromat, but and a lot, they, they a lot of them these days have drop-off service. I was gonna say laundromat and people who do the washing for you. So it's a collection of okay business that provides washing, drying, and/or ironing services for a fee, yeah. or machines for hire to be used by customers on the premises. Washing, drying and or, I guess I guess dry cleaning falls into washing. Dry. Yeah, I guess I never think of dry cleaning as washing. Well, it's and just I, dry. It is just not using water. Yeah, they wash them first. So. Washing it with chemicals. Yeah. Chemicals. Mm. Well, I mean, a lot of well. work for a dry cleaner that did, like, you know, your shirts, you get your shirts washed and then pressed. You know yeah. What I mean, so it's all. But again, I'd like to see a dry cleaners here. I mean, you can do your banking, your post office, pick up your dry cleaning and park one time. Yeah, I mean, it so, seems to me like it would be so that's an valuable in a village. Like, well, and, and I, to buy those things, because I think I think a, in a laundry service in the village center district would be good, but a laundromat I don't think would be good. So if the laundry service didn't have the machines for hire for use by customers on the premise, and know. that was something separate, like a I'm going to challenge you to rethink that. There's a lot of places these days that, like, you know, you can get a beer and do your laundry. I was just thinking of the same thing. Yeah. There's a lot of bar laundromats, you know, that are kind of hip. Dry cleaners cool. sometimes yeah. take yeah. it. They, they have, a, they have a party wall between the two and a, and a, a pass-through door, and, and you yeah. go and you drop your load, and you go and you sit and you know, have a drink. You know, young folk. <laughs> Hipsters like to wash and drink. Yeah. <clears throat> I would just caution against the, the adding of more uses to this to the village district and we haven't had a lot of use of it yet well I, I think the I agree with that I think what I'll say is that we did include personal service and I think that a lot of the original discussion about personal service was that dry cleaner might fall into that realm I mean, wasn't the whole thing we're trying to encourage development in the center of town? We are, but also the, a very important part of that that I told the people constantly when we were forming it was there's going to be a, appropriate uses also, not just mm-hmm. everything allowed. You think a laundromat's inappropriate? I get your argument. I just want to... It's a very, very narrowly defined thing right now. And I'm adding anything to it is going to... St- what I would suggest is making it a special permit in the village district as opposed, if it's going to be inserted into the village district, as opposed to a by right, mm-hmm. and that gives some level of no yeah. in, in making sure that it's, it's appropriate in what is intended in that area as opposed to just, yeah, you can put a laundromat in and you know having the Ritter building become a, a laundromat because that's one of the buy right uses. I, and again, people seem to be oh, uh, understandably concerned about what could happen sure. in the center of town. Mm-hmm. I don't want to add any fear before we start going down the road. Yeah, and, and I'm not advocating one way or the other. I'm saying if, if it's... Laundry club. Well, <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That might fall into the adult use section. <laughs> I wasn't in fighting. You don't wear them there. there. <laughs> that's, that's a different club. Boy. I can see so, going to special, special permit. permit yeah. uh, if it's gonna, if the board wants to put it there, my recommendation would be that it be by special permit. I also understand what Damon's saying in that, you know, laundromat certainly does have a. a yeah, a certain I, I connotation would, yeah, and feeling the to it. The laundromats that I see is not what I would want to see in the village center district. But well, no, but you have <clears> control <throat> because it is in the village center district to ensure that it, you know, doesn't look like a laundromat. Right, that it's a, t- a top-notch, you know, facility. And I think your point is well taken too, David. We're talking about mixed uses. Yeah. In 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 the village center, and if you're installing a component of rental or other, you know, s- 
smaller footprint housing, right. um, there can be the lack of facilities for that, and yeah. keeping those people in in the area to do stuff like that could have a benefit. Sure. Um, but it, it's it, it's a very fine line, I think, and I, I <clears throat> understand what you're saying, Damon. Sure. Uh, so I'm not so going to advocate one way or the other. We're all going to agree on special permit. Yeah, yes, I think so. Do you agree or do you I also reluctantly agree. Okay. It's unanimous then. I'm just the one who keeps doing the presentations on the village center. Huh? I'm just the one who keeps doing the presentations on the village center. Well. <laughs> it's gonna add something to the repertoire. It could be the anchor for the David whole will do thing. it next time. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Wandering out with housing above and <clears throat> telling you in a bar and restaurant next door. You want to limit it, yeah. but you don't want to exclude it if it's appropriate. You know what I mean? So okay, liquor store. Four five eight. Moving right along. Uh, that is a special permit in the VCD. I don't know. Yes, it is. I I've got that noted here. Yeah. And I do have Whale and CY. Route two A Y and Summer Street C Y. Okay. Which one was Y? Route two. Route two. Medical clinic. That looks right to me. Medical clinic's going to have a high sewage requirement, isn't it? More likely. Office Park Industrial, no? Uh, I don't know. The clinic is a walk-in type of thing. for. Yeah, it's, a, it's an outpatient. It's They have no. practitioners. Is it could be anything from a, you know, a chiropractor who uses basically as much sewage as a retail use to a dentist who I would imagine uses significantly more sure. sewage with all the rinsing and spitting. It's still nowhere near a restaurant. Or no. <laughs> or a commercial outhouse. A commercial outhouse. <laughs> oh, man. 25 cents. All right, are we good with medical clinic? Yep. I think so, yeah. Mixed use? I think Whalen has to be CY. Yes, right? it does. <clears throat> Other than that, what about right to me. Next use. Well, if it's a combination of commercial and residential uses, shouldn't it be a special actually, permit in residential areas? Actually, they're, yeah, they're special permits, aren't they, generally? Shouldn't it? No. I, I, I don't think it should be. Because the okay. I don't think we want mixed excluded. use in, in residential areas. Well, ZBA must be, rent, a decision must be rendered. In right. the case of uses that require a special permit. So if you want to put a oh, well, medical, medical clinic, clinic mixed use house. in a retail commercial, mm -hmm. then you need to get your medical clinic special permit from the ZBA prior to applying for site plan approval from the planning board to ensure that the planning board doesn't approve a mixed use development that is SANS approvals for the uses that are proposed within. Now, if someone were to come and look for a spec approval on a mixed use, that's a different discussion. What about a bed and breakfast or an inn with a restaurant? Like well, the bed and breakfast was allowed. Well, right? so the bed and breakfast, bed and breakfast is allowed. Is the only one, not and the that's commercial uses. So, what if somebody you know, wanted to, so to put in a corner awesome. store or something like that? I know it's not allowed now, but say in a, so, in a residential mm -hmm. area. Yeah, somebody does a hundred unit subdivision. Mm -hmm. Would like to put a community okay, yeah. store in there as well, 
or or anywhere in town somebody wanted to well then that wouldn't be mixed use that'd be us allowing retail and within the in, in the residential district because it the, I mean, if it's a hundred unit subdivision, it's going to be on its own lot, most likely, and it's Unless going to it's be a general store that somebody lives in. Yeah, or or it would be a, like a general store with an attached unit, or something mm -hmm. like in the Waltons. Or did you say the Waltons? <laughs> <laughs> or there were two I, I, <laughs> two apartments above a store or something. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's. I mean, it's a lot. It's a big conversation. That's. It might be more than the conversation tonight. But it, it, no. But it's. It's. It's certainly a point worth considering because I. I don't think that's. I don't think that's contrary to the historical development pattern of the town. Um, or I, or I, anywhere. It's. It's one of the yeah. things that we've. Uh, in my whole four years on the planning board, it's one of the things I've wanted to talk to and talk about, and we've never talked about it. It's like stones. It's, <laughs> so you're throwing stones at your so last I'm, meeting? Like stones. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> no, if like, I lose, I'm still coming back to haunt you guys. I, I, I don't think it's inappropriate. I don't so think it's. It might be not be done with you. He's he's talking something like stone. Like stone, stone I, I don't yeah. think it's inappropriate. I don't think it would be out of place. Uh, I guess it would have to be special permitted. And, and I think that if we were to do that, it'd have to be a limited size in the residential. Yeah, so I, I'm not... It'd be nice if it's, we could find some way to have a limited use like that because it, it adds to the walkability of the mm -hmm. whole town, not just certain areas of it. adds to community building, adds to a, yeah, yeah. Of a place. It creates a village out of every right. neighborhood. Yeah. yeah. Without, like yeah. on North Fair Road, you want to go to a store there's, or anything, there's nothing out And there. I'm not talking to crazy intensity. No, no, I, I, and I get what you're saying. Uh, no. like, or about even a coffee about, shop. Yeah. Put an antique store in your barn. Right. Right? That used to be a use. Antique store in your house was a listed use in our current, well, is a listed use in our in current barn, bylaw. Not, not in your house, in your barn. Well, one could make the connection that your barn is your house. Okay. <laughs> well, maybe you like an art studio. You're, you're a horse. Well, right, but if you're oh, maybe a horse. small. <laughs> so, are, so you say that for cat. mixed use, we want to make it maybe a special permit in other districts as well. Is that what you say? Uh, it, it, it it might be a, worded a different way besides mixed use, but it's a limited, a true limited commercial use. I don't know how you would... In R A and B? Yeah. How Adam would choose to define that. An outline. An outline. By square footage or whatever, but... Yeah. Square footage or intensity, I don't know how you would define Yeah, I, I, I would probably lean towards... Neighborhood commercial or something like that. Um, mm. I think it would be a separate use than mixed use. Right, that's and what i And I think saying. it needs to be geared towards the residential district and I think it probably would have to include some provision for living space associated with it. Yeah. I don't think it necessarily needs to be owner occupied or store, you know, proponent occupied, but I think that the combination it needs to be combination not just a commercial use plopped in. Yes. So if, uh, it, if I it, mean I, we have some of these existing already in town now. We do. Yeah, and they're I, probably all pre-existing stuff. Yeah, you're going to want to have more discussion on that, I think, before you go just go including it, because well, that's the, a pretty big change. That's a, that's that's a it, commercial change into a into an into a correct. And, and I'm not. I'm talking. You know, limiting square footage, limiting the number of units, limiting the. You know, we're talking. You know, having it be uh, fit within a very specific box. Mm. Oh, Bef before it became that alpaca place, the the little shop that was a house and a shop at on Page Street, right next, right on the corner there of yeah. Lancaster. What did that fall under? Because that's residence. It's been an alpaca farm, as far as I can remember. Yeah, no, it. I mean, my that, the, it's another one. My timeline's fairly. It's, it's another one. Well, your time. This is probably a little bit before your time. Not much uh, before. It. Yeah, Jeff Stone. It was. Uh, What's the one on Chase that's it, got the? It's it for was, sale right it was now. Built out to be. Uh, got a house. Because he he actually had gone for a permit to sell alcoholic uh, beverages there, and I think got denied. You're talking about cement building. Yeah, yeah. I know the the alpaca place you're talking about down across from the from the grade school. Oh, you mean the auction house up near the towns and line? No, 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 no. no Page no. Street, 
right near right Lancaster. Lancaster. Right on the corner of Lancaster. Two, two lots down. From, two lots yeah. down from the corner. Right next it was to the a tree cemetery. farm, right next to the cemetery. and it was uh, like a little convenience store, but it's also a residence. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, my guess is it qualified was, under. It may have been a, a store long term pre existing. No, it was built. No, it was new. Oh, was it really? Yeah. Maybe yeah. they should never get approval. I don't. I don't remember. I never went there as a store. I know. I know the building you're talking about, but I never went there when it was a store. So because it got changed over to the alpaca place shortly after he got denied for carrying um, liquor beverages there. <laughs> and then Greg, yeah, it's the other one. Well, I've never actually been in it either. Uh, Maybe we can Chase do the, 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 the big plate glass window, and then it's got garages with it and everything. I'm not sure what that is, but. Yeah, I think that you, it, was an, it was it was an yeah, indoor yard sale. Or yeah, or yeah. consignment thing. That always looked like just kind of like shady business for. And further up Lancaster Ave, wasn't there a place as well that? Uh, but that it seems like had plants and it was also a residence because I remember they were selling coffee there for a period of time. Too. Stillman's. It seems like that kind oh, of move. Yeah, Stillman's. Yeah. Is if it's so not. Did that qualify under? That was probably that was existing. agriculture. That was, well, it was existing as well. What is Cherry Hill? Oh, okay, if it's not heavily right regulated, no, I don't want to get rid of I think that that's kind of a throwback, huh? you know, to what the town used to do when it was very rural and you had to do something. Mm -hmm. That's what it seems like to me. It's sort of, you know, you're going back in time. So I would say it was, it's going to need discussion and, and you're going to need some serious regulations if you're going to do that kind of thing today. I don't think it Yeah, passed. I'm not saying tonight. I yeah. think it's something that warrants. Looking I at. think it'd be. A, it's not a step back. I think it's something that was tossed aside when zoning was put in place. Mm -hmm. They wanted to put everything in a nice box, and that's the way they did it. The turn, like the middle of the last century. Yes. Yeah. It's everything's changing now, though. They realize that they, in doing that, you get rid of the village and the neighborhood and all that opportunity that has been the, the formation of communities since the dawn of time. I don't disagree. I think, I, I know where you're going with it and I agree with it. I mean, it, it gets us back to that walkable village type thing. And if but I get like, you got a problem, I'm not saying you have a problem personally, but you know, you're making a, a Maybe a laundromat's not the right thing. I mean, I mean, it, you're gonna go. You're gonna have to go neighbor to neighbor. The neighbor is gonna be like, I don't want this. I don't want that. I don't want this. I don't want that. Doesn't you know mean make the box small. Something that's acceptable. That's why. That's what I'm talking about. This village center. We made the box small so it was acceptable to everybody. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's probably even a smaller box than what the village allows. Mm, okay. I think to solve this coffee shop or or, or convenience store, we could make uh, an accessory use to to uh, living space because this does say within a single building or lot a combination of commercial and residential uses so there's definitely residential it doesn't uh, let, let's let's go with what we have now okay I'll take a swing can we asterisk at, that and <laughs> just so we get yeah I, I'm, that's what, what I'm saying is I'll take a swing at something that sort of opens the conversation on that box okay mm -hmm. um and again similar to everything i'm the suggester and so i'm i'm just throwing stuff out there and and opening the conversation no it's very helpful change but even like even this stuff you know this is just a starting point so what i put forward is certainly just the place to start talking and and to start picking it apart mm -hmm. um and and i can that, that may be a longer term thing. Maybe we'd move this forward and have a longer term conversation about how that plays. Maybe we get it done in time to, to send it in with this. Let's, let's not count on that. Let's know that we want to move that forward and, and keep an eye on it, but mm -hmm. keep moving forward with this. Okay, motel. Yep. Just motel, motel. Land building or setting the C Y at the end of yeah, well, and Owens. And Summer Street. Summer right? Street. Yeah. C Y C Y. Only allowing commercial. Office park is no motels and office parks or industrial areas. Not very scenic. Neither was an industrial. <laughs> no, but sometimes they're necessary. Motels and industrial parks? Mm. No, no, hotels are. I'm sorry, that's different. I mean, 
that. I mean, look at like the Devon, not necessarily Devon's yeah. like sections of Devon's. You can see that industrial park and those hotels there. Mm. Motels. I mean, that's where your they also have infrastructure to support industrial uses that bring people from other countries. <laughs> that's where your businesses are. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yes. I've been to, uh, across this country and there's a lot of hotels and motels in the middle of industrial areas, mm -hmm. you know? Well, that's a, only the airport. I also think in, in a lot of those cases, it's the situation where there's not much else where those businesses are. Well, so. that's where you're coming to town. Yes. This is that's true. What, you know what I mean? But if we, put like them, if we put them in the commercial areas, we maybe bring people out of those industrial areas mm -hmm. yep. and, and to patronize our commercial areas. Yes. <laughs> Come to our vintage town hall. <laughs> maybe they will stop by the neighborhood commercial store on the way between the industrial park and their <laughs> Good hotel. call. I could see maybe over by like... Maybe right. they'll get a beer at the laundromat. In the village center. Enough, because it's just because it's close to the highway. <laughs> Experience. All good options. Cool <laughs> All right, That's not necessary. Park. Office park. Is in the office park. Why? <laughs> why do we have an office park? <laughs> yeah. In an office park, it's its own zone. It deserves its own definition. Hmm. Pawn shop. <laughs> kind of funny. Oh, uh, the pawn shop. Just gonna add your. Uh, <coughs> Why isn't uh, this? Yeah. Well, isn't that what? There are some already down in. Well, because we had. Uh, yeah. Good spot. They had it. the uh, what was it? Shopping center. The when they proposed it to the ZBA, they kind of had to go under shopping center because that was the the car wash. Uh, I, th that so was that was. Would that be kind of the same as? That was sort of no. That that wasn't address mixed uses that aren't necessarily in a building. Are we back on? Oh, I'm sorry, back on. Uh, I'm so office park. Oh, we talking about office park? I think we get the pawn shop. We did get. And I I'm think confused. We backed up. I'm just no. Uh, Where are we, Greg? Office park. Okay. Okay. Just no. Okay. <laughs> mixed use. A comedy. I would. Uh, no, that would not. Office park would not cover that. I don't believe. Um, I think what we would do is either they would fall into the shopping center or we would take the provision that's in the bylaw currently, which was the reason they didn't ha need a shopping center special permit that allows for uses by special permit to be co-located uh, and just transfer that over. Because, I mean, I don't, I'm not opposed to having multiple uses on it. No, nor I, I just didn't think it fell under. We, to we me, when I see shopping center, I we think could so. also in, include multiple yeah. uses. Right. Um, we could I, personally, I think it doesn't necessarily belong in the use table. It would be a note in all districts, uh, multiple use. You know, multiple primary uses are allowed. Granted, that X Y Z is met and. You know, mm -hmm. if they're required by special permit, it's covered. Uh, if you, you know, do it, then the lot needs to meet X criteria and, you know, right. come up with a way to, to integrate them. Because I, I think if he gets the car wash, that'll be five uses, five separate businesses on uh, that lot, including the bus storage. Well, yeah, yes, I think. I don't know that the, I guess the bus storage is technically a use. Mm. And again, I'm not opposed to it. I just don't think we have a definition that encompasses oh, multiple different uses. Yeah, it's not, it's not a definition. It's a, a statement. Right. So. What is that statement? <laughs> Uh, it's in here somewhere. <coughs> I, I'm going to have to email it out to you because it's... And again, I'm just thinking of when people go to apply for something like that, that there's always confusion. Well, what is mm -hmm. it? Because there's several things that it's close to, but nothing that... Yeah, it's that not it's going to make on. good TV for me to flip through and, right, and figure right. out where no, it is, no. but I'll, I'll get it to you and it... <laughs> <laughs> it's going to make good TV. Asterix, it, it, move it, on. It essentially yeah. says that if you are required to get a special permit, you're allowed to co-locate 
multiple uses on a single lot. Okay. And I think the idea is that the special permit review process covers the... It has to, it has to be done for each one. Yes, yes. And it, it covers the ability for uh, the town to control how those are shaped and whether they're appropriate for the neighborhood, the site. Okay. Blah, 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 blah. All the other fun I'd special like permits. That, so that would be cool if you could send me on that. Too. Yeah. I'll, I'll send it. I'll just send it to everybody. All right. Pawn when shop. You Did you get elected? Did you add pawn shop? Uh, CY? Yes, I got all the. Uh, okay. The extra stuff. Oh man. Um. We good with pawn shop? Um. Yeah, I'm just thinking of the definition because, like, the one on Summer Street or on yeah on Summer Street, they they don't have a retail store, but they still buy items, and take them in. The cash exchange. They have the retail store in Worcester, but you can take. You're not. So this far, is just you're not expecting to get it back. You can still sell it to them, but they don't resell it there. They take it in there and then ship it off to the Worcester store up for retail. Hmm. Well, because it's, it's just well, this is just the war in part. Yeah. Yeah, it covers it. It's still kind of or the purchase or sale of personal property. Yeah, it's just holder in part, so that I don't think that. Am I not re oh, all right. I didn't flip over to the next. Okay, I didn't see the next page. Sorry. I'm so it's, it covers all of those okay. things. All right, sorry. And you you got your guys already covered the CY and mm -hmm. missing ones. Well, and basic construction, physical construction. It's on the street. Right. Yep. Yeah. Personal improvement <laughs> services. Voluntary physical and mental health services. Huh. Oh, okay, not related. So, personal improvement service, is that, should that be in the village center? Because I know yeah. personal service okay. is. Was that a special permit? or No, that's no, by right. That's by right. Um, I don't know. Uh -huh. We like define. Hydra's office. Mark, that's a professional office. That's professional office. So we define personal service. Personal improvement. In, well, I'm talking about village district. And establishment engaged in the provision of service to the general public, which are conducted within a structure, includes not limited to barbers, hair salons, massage therapists, chiropractors, and nail salons. So, yeah, I don't see any reason. And we have a fitness trainer in here in the village center now. Yeah. I've seen them. Out back flipping truck tires. So that would be in VCD, but not, not. So it's a Y in VCD. Louder. Well, Why not in SSR two? It, it no no it's a, it's in those as well. It is. Okay. I, I think Damon's saying that it it should also be a Y in in the VCD. Just by the way that's written now. It is, I don't have it as a Y in those locations. That's because it's not on there. Not in the chart, but in the in the language of the village center, it's written it personal service. Well, then I see. I see. What so, about, but are we going to include it then as a Y? Yes. yes. In all of those districts? Yes. Well, it's CY in, the, in Summer Street, it's okay. Y in 2A, and it's CY in Whalem. Okay, thank already, you. Already, by default. And what about office park or industrial? I don't think that I would, yeah, I would not encourage us to put that in there. Uh, you know, I, I know office park has office in it, but I tend to to envision that to be more of like mega corporate office building. Right, multiple. And, and, yeah, and I think this tends to yeah, be it's a... It's kind of irrelevant because we don't have any, yeah, we don't have any land. Tends to be, a, yeah, it's all Keatings for the most right, part. It's Keatings. Right? Oh, all right. Uh, and, and Should Keatings you know, go out of business? There's a lot of opportunity, but yeah. until then. <laughs> until then. Uh, but I also think so that this well, type, of, this type of use is, is tends to be a more a more well, micro I need use. You guys to rake the sand. I'm sorry. <laughs> what do you mean? Uh, personal, personal improvement services. Oftentimes, those are a smaller scale operation sure. than what one 
one I would think you would find in an office park. Now, would some of these things maybe be accessory to an office park? Yes, but I don't think that they're necessarily a... You also don't normally want a lot of high traffic things in your so office park. So does Global too. Fitness fall under personal improvement service? Yes. Okay. That's kind of like an office. I mean, an industrial type place. It's big. It's huge. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't want, well, I wouldn't want one of those in the physical village. Physical exterior. Right. That's where the 5,000 square foot. And my, my thought process is, is you go true. to yeah. where the people yeah. are for something this like is that. Just, they want to drive a half hour and they just there. walk out to their office door. And I was in, in um, oh God. Uh, Prince something, mm -hmm. Rupert or something like that up in Canada. And uh, he had hotels that would just take up one floor. Like the Radisson was one floor of an office building. And the rest of the building was office use. Well, they could try to do that as an accessory use for the office park. Couldn't Just they? throwing that out there. Oh, it's kind of neat. <laughs> That's. I went to a place like that in North Carolina. They they had an amphitheater, and they used the parking. It was ample parking because the office park closed and at five or six, and the, they had all their concerts at seven and on the weekends. So it was kind of a. I thought it was a good idea. Mm. <clears throat> okay, are Same. we are we on to professional office? Yes, professional yeah. office. So personal improvement was allowed use or special permit <coughs> in the village center? Allowed. Allowed. <clears throat> Are we driving, looking for mixed use? What's that? Are we looking for mixed use? For what? If it was a special permit, it would be... No, it is it's already allowed. written that it's allowed in the approved. Okay. You said we're on professional office? Yeah, so this is this is where I see a, a a case for mixed use in the residence areas. If you well, this would be accessory use <clears throat> as a home occupation. Is that categorized in here? It, no, it's uh, that's the stuff that I'm working on now. Okay. So that'll be coming out. It'll be the accessory uses. Yeah, it'll be having the, it, like doing accounting out of your home. Yes. Yes. I, in my opinion, it should be acceptable. Yes, then, yeah. and that would be acceptable under the accessory use stuff that I. It's it's allowed now in the bylaw, and huh? I'm just sort of shifting that language mm -hmm. over. And so that'll be an accessory use yes. in residence. Correct. I, I do concur. <clears throat> okay. So not like if you've been to I don't know if you know of any of the business like Nagog Park, over in uh, what is it Acton? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so they've got condos and within those condos they have living and offices for professionals so that you can get like a you know one floor that has psychiatrists mm -hmm. and doctors and then the next floor is someone's home you know uh, I would that's mixed use to me yeah yeah okay so that's already covered on mixed use uh, yeah, uh, yeah and I you know I don't know what Acton zoning looks like and, and where that's exactly. located but it, it sounds like it's probably in a commercial -ish area. <coughs> it's in an office park. It is in an office park. It's an office park. There you go. Yeah, it's an office park. Restaurants. It's living. Across from the reservoir. Okay, so we got on a professional office. You also have to change uh, Wayland to CY. Yeah. Yes. So we're on to a retail establishment? Correct. Oh, yep. oh, yeah, that's right. Okay, that's. Again, Wayland and CY. Summer yes. Street, CY. Retail. Should, just for clarity, for a retail establishment, should you put like Y slash SP for Village Center because there's different levels of it? Or would you just keep the Y? Because some retail is allowed by, right? Uh, mixed, so. Let's, uh, let me look at that. I think that'll probably get addressed in the uh, design standards or uh, Zone restrictions, special restrictions. Mm -hmm. uh, it'd be sort of outlined in there. Yeah. Uh, but uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> I just wouldn't want somebody to look at this and say, yeah. oh, I can do it, and then yeah. they come in oh, later. I can put my super Walmart downtown. Yeah. Hey, could we put an A in categories where it's an allowable, where it's an accessory use? Would that be a lot of work? Like we were talking about going back and forth because it was an accessory use, but not necessarily a primary use. Uh, well, the way that I, I, I'm trying to address a lot of the accessory uses in the non-residential districts is 
anything that's allowed by right or special permit can be located as an accessory use. Uh, granted, it does not comprise more than like some percentage of the gross floor area of the building. Okay, that sounds good. And that way, it's not trying to nail down this, that, or the other thing, or association of one to the other. It's just, it's a secondary use that is clearly subservient, sort of like the accessory dwelling unit. So we could mix that in with the mixed use definition. Yeah. Starting to zone out. <laughs> we can talk about that once we once we get into that language, but I, I don't I, I'm okay. I'm not sure I want to commit to that right now. Sure. Without thinking about it a little bit more. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so we're on to um Restaurant. I thought we already did restaurant. No? No, nope, oh, we did retail. Okay. Yep, restaurant looked good to me. Yeah. That's why I thought it was okay. Now we're a little more restrictive on the carryout portion. Yeah, I thought that was odd. Uh, well, because we talked about doing that as um, accessory. As an accessory, and I, I don't even know if we, we need to have carry out the more I think about it. Well, a carry out restaurant. I mean, there's very few restaurants, and I don't think we have any in town that won't serve you food to go. No, but what about this is only to go. serve you food to go? Yeah, and I, you know, I had proposed it as that sort of definition. You guys said, "Oh, why don't we make it like drive-through and make it an accessory use?" Mm. It's, and maybe I'm misremembering. I would be. A, I think it's its own. I think it's a limited version of a restaurant. Okay, use. Well, it does say primarily. So, well, like a Sonic. Yeah, or McDonald's. That's my opinion. Is it carry up? No, no, it's not. No, a carry up is like to me is it's an it's domino. Read the description though. Sold the disposable packaging ready to consume, intended for ready consumption by the customer on or off the premise. That's a McDonald's, right? You're you're not getting it on a on a a china plate with silverware, you're getting it in disposable containers. Mm. That's what a carry-out restaurant is. It's the same presentation whether you're sitting there eating it or Correct. taking it away. Yeah, it's like Taco Bell, McDonald's, those are all Conrad's. Yeah, we can. Those I would put those at... Yeah, Conrad's is definitely carry-out. Yeah, I would put more carry-out to be Conrad's or Cherry Hill or someplace that doesn't have an indoor dining area. To me... Conrad's is an indoor dining area, it's just small. Not till recently, <laughs> but still. No, they don't have indoor. I thought they did. No, just a screened in where you stand. That was just they get the seafood there. places in. You can't sit. There's no chairs. Hey, forgive me, but is it? But if someone had like a like the hot dog stand that used to be in front of Home Depot. That's a walk up. It's not necessarily talking about what we have already, but what we might like to see. Yeah. Yeah. Would we, would we like? I'm just thinking for a small. If it's a different again. The scale that fits into a box. It's a smaller scale thing that. I, I granted, think there's of, a higher turnover rate. I think of like all the wing restaurants and Chinese food places you see in cities where you walk in, you walk up to the counter, you order, and they hand you a box of stuff, and there's like one plastic chair in the corner that. The person who's lucky enough to be waiting the longest gets to sit in, and there isn't any tables. That's kind of what carry out sure. sort of means to me. Or Domino's, the where they don't have any place is, you can sit. The you grab your pizza and you go. I think the definition is pretty good. Yeah, I get. Okay, like D'Angelo's. I can the D'Angelo's carry. Yeah, I get says, this definition. I guess I'm just wishing there was another like restaurant light definition that was like, walk up. Maybe would be the more appropriate. You mean to exclude the um, McDonald's? But, yeah. Well, it just says consumption by customer on or off premise. It doesn't specify like indoor seating or any kind of seating. It just says, I mean. But again, we've been more in the, the way, that, I mean, maybe it just didn't get filled in, but the way it was put in the use table so far was more restrictive than a, a restaurant. Right. Yeah, I mean, I, I didn't I fill it in because I wasn't sure how. You know, well, it, most towns, they don't, well, the, the towns that I'm familiar with don't restrict necessarily the, they don't restrict McDonald's, but they put so many <laughs> regulations on what your building can look like mm -hmm. that I can't put my golden arches out front. Nope. Well, then I'm not going to build there. Well, it's more the drive through thing, too. They yeah. So, I mean, that's, the, you know, they restrict them by other vehicles mm -hmm. rather than... 
just a thought. Well, if it was me, I mean, I would, I would allow the restaurant carry out in pretty much all the areas where we allowed restaurants. Yeah, I could, I, I could even see getting rid of it almost. As, <laughs> that's sort of what. If I, we're going to allow it in the same place, then why not just make it the same yeah. thing? I mean, I think that would require us to alter the restaurant definition some. Well, my recollection of the carryout importance was the experience we had with the local restaurant with not enough enjoyment. parking because they had the carryout wasn't uh, ad added in for the parking count. That was my recollection of the importance of it as far as a restaurant. Yeah, I, I, th I think, see, restaurant because in this definition would exclude McDonald's. That's why I say we would that's, need. And that's why I think, not, the, not I that think we necessarily both definitions need to exist. All right. <clears throat> okay, so where do you put carry out then? Yes, in limited business, retail, commercial, and commercial. And then by village as well? Nope. No. Okay. Well, would we want to give it a special permit opportunity there? No, drive throughs yeah. are specifically. It's not a drive through. It's, it's not a drive through. It's carry out. Not a drive through. Again, again I think it goes against the idea of limiting car traffic and high turnover to promote walkability. I think it would be good in the village center. But if you put up a we have frozen, frozen, good. frozen yogurt shop out. restaurant, how, how many other people think it would be good in the village center or district? Or uh, why would yeah. why would it not be? Yeah, yeah. I think so. Ken, I'm sorry. What you think it would be good in the village center, Matt? I'm sorry. Conversation, you're cutting it off to shut down my opinion. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, you're speaking loudly over other people who are speaking. I, I think this is very inappropriate, Damon, to be showboating like you are. Showboating. Yeah. Okay, I think let's you're, get back on the you're, you're I've done a lot of research recently on the village district, and I'm knowledgeable about it, and I've been through the whole process. Being of quite why disorderly we to this meeting. Okay, Matt. Uh, so. I'm sorry, with the uh, restaurant carryout, is that going to be going in, are we going to see why it for SSR2A? Yes, because if you're going to put a Y in commercial, it goes CY, CY, in SS and W, and then it becomes a Y in the 2A. Yeah, I think yep. the, only, the only point of question is whether we would allow mm, carryout carry out restaurant in the village center district. And by what means? And by what means? I, definitely, I wouldn't say yes. Special it, to, permit? To me, it would be the special permit. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't think you can. I, re, I really don't see how, uh, I can think of several inappropriate things. I can also think of several, several appropriate exactly. things. So exactly. So I think so special a special, special permit. permit. Would That's a good way to put it. Control? Yep. You could special permit, yeah. It's just, again, we've been kind of putting that one to the side a little bit because it's written differently than our other districts. So that's why I was uh, I, limiting the things that we would change in there mm -hmm. because, again, it was a very restrictive process that we went through. And it's very, it's very it's, purposeful the way that yeah. the original uses were chosen. So. so in the original use case for the Village Center District, do we have any type of walk-up Restaurant, a place yeah, serving food and beverage within a structure or patio, primarily for consumption on premises. We have the Bad Larry's. You can't go in there, order a pizza, and go in and sit down. You have to walk out with it. No, you can't. No, you, can. you, can you, you can't order at the counter and go sit. You have to sit at the table and order from a waitress. Well, again, this is... Bad Larry's is unique because it's, it's a restaurant and a, a takeout facility. It's, yeah, I was going to say, this is both restaurants crammed into one building. Yes. Uh, but our, our definition in the village is a place serving food and beverage within a structure or patio primarily for consumption on premises. Primarily. Okay. And part of the problem with Bad Larry's is, not, not part of the problem, but part of the explanation is they took over an existing site that the use didn't become abandoned in the transition from... What, it, what, what the zoning was but previously to the village district. The village center pizza was there, mm -hmm. and they were primarily come in, take your food, and leave. Mm -hmm. So the new definition of restaurant 
was harder to couldn't necessarily be applied was primarily on site. I because know, but when we talked well, about this, I remember explicitly like using the example of, and I always have a hard time pronouncing the name, but Philos or Philos, Philos, Philos. Philos. Mm -hmm. as an example of what we would want in the village center. Sure, district. right, and and that is, I mean, technically a carry out restaurant. Uh, right, there is no table service there. There's no waitresses. No. There. Okay, minimal amount of tables, right. and the majority of their business, I would have to assume, is take up. Right, but there's a. I mean, they do have <coughs> tables there, and a lot of people do eat there. Right. I, I would love I, to see I something think like that. I would love to have something like that in the village district. Mm -hmm. So I would not want anything that would exclude that. So I think special permit would be the right vehicle to enable the right type of business to come in. Or the and and not have to you know deal with the mcdonald's or wendy's can you go real back real quick to the village center district bylaw are those uses <coughs> that you just listed off for restaurant is that a by right or is that a by special permit it is by right, right. it is by right okay and that would fall into because that's more the definition of restaurant in what we're working on right, now. Right. it does There's not it says primarily it does yeah. not exclude carry out service no so, but it also it lends itself. But it's an individual menu and serve their food and beverage by an employee at the same table where they're consumed. No, no, I, I, so he's talking about the village district. Talking about the village district. Uh, and, and, and that's a separate I, I, definition. And that, and that yeah, what, what I guess are you? What definitions? How are you defining a restaurant in the village center well, district? And as opposed to this? The, yes, it's all it's all going to sync up. I, I think I think what David's saying is this doesn't say you have to eat it on site. Right. But it lends itself to a place that you come in and they do the majority of their business with a sit-down crowd, with weight service, with non-disposable, mm -hmm. you know, flatware and, and that kind of stuff. So it, it's, I don't think that, oh. that the definition of restaurant prohibits from serving food to go. Uh, so it wouldn't eliminate the ability of someone to open a restaurant and offer their food as takeout. Yes. But it would encourage restaurants that are gathering, sitting, destination places as opposed to, you know, a wing restaurant where you call and you order your, you know, your 50 wings and you show up and they give you the plastic tray with the right. bubble on it and you're, yeah. you're in and out. Well, so I, I think I'm back where 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 Ken was a few minutes ago. With I would not say yes, but I would say special permit makes mm -hmm. sense. Is there any way that we can define drive up windows either uh, well, separately not, and and restrict? Separate. That's already separate. We well, already drive up windows are already prohibited right. in the village. Yeah, it's already covered. Okay. I think the con I think the concern confused. I think okay. what Damon's yeah. saying is is if by allowing carry out mm -hmm. you're creating a drive through service that you don't drive through you're creating a, 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 a parking destination that creates additional driving traffic potentially so you you would create a restaurant where people are constantly coming just to pick up food and leave you know it's not a and I think that's why he's making the argument that sit down he, he's hesitant to endorse carry out within the village because what it does is encourages the location of a restaurant that may function as not a gathering space but just a you know a food delivery area right where they're just pumping food out that people are, are coming and taking back to their hovels and you know eating in front of the TV before the village is actually established correct I got gotcha. you okay so how about if we add a delivery service to the carry out restaurant I say food delivery more as they're making food and just pushing it out the restaurant, not you know a driver, you know, act physically delivering it. Actually, it would also be as delivery use. I think. And any restaurant could do delivery service now. D yes. It's Again, it's in delivery services now. And it says customers are normally provided with. <laughs> no, I can go either way. <laughs> well, maybe yeah, we maybe we think on it and and. Uh, yeah. Leave it off for now. Think about ways that we might restrict it or, or further uh, define how it gets implemented. Yeah. If, it, if it were to be in the village, uh, I, I, you know, I, it's, a, it's a tough sell uh, in my mind. Um, 
only well, be only because, uh, and I, I understand why it would be positive in some ways. Mm -hmm. um, but I think carry out restaurant often denotes a transient use mm -hmm. where people are just you know it's a it's a drive by and gank and I'm gone uh, if we had a vibrant but village center where there were a lot of people milling about you say there's a vibrant oh, village center and you got some office buildings in here mm -hmm. and, and people want a place to go get a sandwich for lunch yeah they don't necessarily want to sit down restaurant I agree with you Ken and I'd be able to go to a, a local deli that has you know nice sandwiches that maybe has some seats in it mm -hmm. but also right. you get your sandwich and you can Take yeah, I mean, because well, that's what exactly. we do all the time as a family. We'll go and get it and eat. I think that's you know, a some really place where other people are. In the village district. If uh, I'm, if I may, Mr. Please, Chair, please I think that's why I was kind, why I was kind of splitting hairs on the initial definition of it, thinking, hoping that we had a restaurant mm -hmm. light use, like a walk up that mm -hmm. accomplishes the things you're talking about, but it wasn't going to be crazy turnover traffic. So I, I don't know if there's a way to make another definition that accomplishes my side. <laughs> yeah, see, I don't know how we get there because I can imagine, like, uh, especially with this old building over here, okay? A unit in a building like this, not old building, excuse oh, me. Oh, the village. The village. The, yeah, the actual village. Not the village building. district, no, the, the village, village building. building. That there might be a unit in there which could be fit for this particular purpose mm -hmm. you know what i mean right. but it doesn't have uh, anywhere where you can drive up necessarily it might be busy mm -hmm. you have to stop in to get your food you know but they just don't have seating and you go you know that's, uh -huh. it's, i i agree with ken's point and i agree with what you're saying it is part of what would make a vibrant village center um i guess what i'm my concern would be the cart before the horse where we don't have the vibrancy and it just creates another pit stop in the village center, which is the only thing that. And I I understand that yep. the argument that the the chicken or the egg, which right, which right, is right, it, right. it's got to happen organically. No it. you. I don't want to put my office building here. There's no place to eat. Yeah, it's but it's got to happen organically, doesn't it? You don't want right. to start shutting doors. No, I I agree, and that yeah. is, I still think if we just have a special permit, we can control it, right? We and and we can put other language if you want in the. In the definition to imply mm -hmm. that it's, you know, low turnover. Sure. Uh, establishment. Leave it for yeah, now. Yeah, I mean, we can we can even limit the number of. Y you can do something like uh, limiting the number of franchises associated with the name of the restaurant. You know, if you wanted to avoid like McDonald's coming in and putting a a unit in in the village, I don't think that's necessarily something they particularly are interested in, but. Um, mm -hmm. There, there are there are ways to to do that. Cinnabon. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't okay. We beat this one to death. I think so. Oh, I think I thought Twitch. <laughs> so we're leaving this. Oh, alone for now. Is that right? Or I'm sorry. What happened? We're we're going to to leave it with the Ys in limited in LBR, RC, and C. Yeah. Um, and maybe I recommend SP for this. We're gonna we're gonna ponder the the implications of so SP. So this will be another asterisk. We'll come back and visit. Okay. Just um, have mixed use. I probably should have said this a while ago. I'm gonna recommend we eliminate the retail commercial. <laughs> yeah, I th re retail I think pro. I mentioned that last time. Yeah. It's really one piece of property. Right? Yeah, it's. It, I think it's two, but it's about this big. You mean retail establishment? No, no retail, retail commercial, commercial district. district. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> just the, the RC district. Boom, gone. Okay. Because it's it's just the area on Townsend Harbor Road. Um, I think someone said it used to be a motocross track or a BMX track. Oh, right or something. behind the uh, puppet oh, the, theater. Uh, I remember that one. Oh, really? Yeah, right on the right as you turn into Townsend Harbor Road. The theater now. Yeah. I remember Is the it the puppet theater now? I believe so. I well, if it was I the I thought it was out track. back, like oh. set back from the road quite a bit, but. I mean, I would just, I would just make it part of the commercial district. Yeah. Okay. Is okay. it the motocross track over here? Or the copper kettle or whatever it used to be? Well, doesn't that take an act of Congress? The red, the red kettle. kettle. No? Okay. It takes an act of town meeting. That's what I meant. So we would just, well, yeah, I guess they are Congress. We'd do it as all part of this. Yeah, Because okay. we do a zoning, I, I think we also, I know no one wants to hear this, but there's going to be phase two of this. 
so, be the zoning map change. Another night, right? <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I, that's after we get this all buttoned up and we decide where where oh, things are going to be appropriate. Okay. Then we take this Special and we start redrawing the districts. Oh, <laughs> Mama. Okay. And I think that needs to be a, a process, but because I said so long. Yeah. That yeah, I think that needs some public outreach. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I agree. I don't think that that's going to be for fall, but I think it's going to be something that yeah, okay, needs to be done in a in a thoughtful long term way. Okay. So we're at service establishment. Yes. Okay. I think that one's okay. Good with me. Yeah. Not to continue to be an ass, but why wouldn't that be in the village center district? Uh, because the because it's more personal service within the village center, I guess. Individuals, uh, business, industry, yeah. government. I guess I, I guess it could fit into personal service. But is this? Well, what about like a, a hardware this, store? That's that's retail. That's, retail. that's, that's products. products. But as far as just be like tax prep? is this like fixing like, motors and no tax that, prep? That's tax um prep? yeah tax. There's already well, a all, tax guy to do it. Professional. Well, tax prep professional is professional office. office. Professional office. office. This yes. could this could it's theoretically be a barber or. Oh, okay. You know, a nail salon, which we do stuff the, for, in the for you. BCD, which we, there so is, where, there's, a, there's a barber Yes, there, there is. Yeah. It's with no pole. Equipment re repair would be um, engines and stuff. So should this be special permit in the VCD? That Wouldn't was my question. A repair shop uh, would be small stuff. So... Well, like computer repair. That would be repair shop. Computer repair would not be a service establishment. Correct. So, is there a material difference to service establishment from personal, personal service? Improvement. Can we think of anything yeah, like that fits in service repair. establishment well, that personal, doesn't fit anything else? Personal improvement, I think, tends to be oh, less about uh, appearance. And I would say personal service might fall more into Division the appearance. Assistance. What about like luggage repair or something like that? Would that? No. Oh, like uh, repair. <sighs> Dress, what do you call it? Uh, where you take up a dress? Uh, uh, tailoring? tailoring? I would say tailoring would be service establishment. I would say luggage repair would probably, uh, it would fall into repair shop. Shoe, watch, jewelry, okay. musical instruments. But tailoring might be a service establishment. Tailoring would be service. And we don't want that in VCD, correct? Well, if, if you would attach those example uses such as tailoring and yep, whatever I can do to that. that definition then I right. would understand that that would fit the description already written mm -hmm. in the village center district by right. Taylor Barber. Taxi service would also be that wasn't it? Yeah. So that would go. Oh taxi service? Taxi or limousine company would fit that description too right? Oh yes it would. So it shouldn't be allowed one? use. Definitely shouldn't be allowed. It should be special permit. Seems like it would. It's very vague. <clears throat> yeah, that's why I'm saying if there were some uses that describe it specifically, it needs to be tightened up, and, yeah, then, yeah. and then put it, make it a special permit in the VCD. Well, if it doesn't up. include limousine service, if it's <clears throat> nails, hair, tailoring, right. etc., that's already something that so that'd be a why. that's been looked at as a why in the in the village under personal service. Okay. So we'll come back and look at that one too. But there's already a personal improvement service. So wouldn't getting your nails done be considered personal improvement? No. Why? Because personal improvement is more physical and mental health related. Oh. Voluntary physical mental health. It's more like a how to. Massage, chiropractic, uh, exercise, okay. that kind of stuff. And, and I, service establishment would be someone doing something for you. All right. Manny Petty, haircut, facial, that kind of stuff. Okay, got it. So I'll, I'll tighten up the service. <coughs> All right, last one yeah. for the night. Shopping center. That's my 
sublime proposal. Um, uh, <laughs> subliminal was that proposal. subliminal? My subliminal proposal. I thought it was sublime myself. <laughs> <laughs> I picked okay, up on it. It was both, actually. I heard it. Second. <laughs> Second. Uh, shop, shop discussion. <laughs> Shopping center. Um, I think that it needs to be a um, special permit for SS and uh, yes. Whalum. 7th Street and Whalum. Yeah, not it's yes. It's already there, right? Yeah. And Route 2A, is it supposed to be yes or is that also no, be special, to be permit. special permit? That's special permit? Yes. <clears throat> or correct. And it, it, but it's Y in. It's not Y anywhere. It's not Y anywhere. Oh, it's special permit. Special permit all. everywhere. Thank you. Because it's a shopping center. Okay. All right. Are we going to continue on or are we going to break? Oh. I would move that we would <laughs> take move a break for the night we'll and uh, continue the last section, the uh, last two sections, the last three sections, the next one. Notices and communications. All have been scanned. Meeting schedule. Uh, town elections May 20th. Go out and vote. If you don't vote, don't complain. Uh, and then... Our standard schedule, May 22nd, June 12th, June 26th. And you've got nothing, no agenda items yet? Uh, not as of yet. Uh, actually, I'm sorry. We did get an application today for June 12th uh, for the cell tower uh, at the turf field. At the high school? Yes. Here, Bells. As was... Approved and discussed at town meeting of annual town meeting 2016. Barely. What? Barely. Barely. There was some discussion on that one. Yeah. Excellent. Is there any public comment? Seeing none. Uh, ongoing items remain complete streets and 40B update. Yep. And are there any board comments or concerns? I'll spare you. <laughs> <laughs> I have I have a comment. Um, the uh, board of selectmen have been entertaining. Uh, they, they saw one last week, and they're going to see them again tonight uh, for a um, a one-time entertainment license. I May sixteenth. Uh, it's on the agenda for tomorrow. I don't. The think selectmen. It is. I believe so. The, uh, the individual so. requested that if they could see him at that time All right, he well, would like them I back. looked at the agenda tonight and it was on it so anyways uh, whether it's tomorrow night or the week after um, I think this is a good thing for the town I have worked with these people before um, they are amazing at what they do they do a really good job um, it's a unifier it's a festival uh, gonna be held well hoping to be held at the lane property remaining that the town did not purchase um, if there's anybody interested in it, uh, please uh, pay attention to the selectman schedule. And if it's not tomorrow, then look into it on the 16th. What, what is the event? It's a unifier. Yes. Four, it's, is it like sorry, a sorry, four-day event, yeah. Thursday to Sunday. Um, I believe they're going to go till 11 it's on a, Thursday and Friday. And well, I, I, that'll be up to the selectman. Right. That's their proposal. It's a non-denominational spiritual an arts gathering. It's like a solstice party. And yeah, it's it's a new agey kind of yeah. get together and let it all hang out. Okay. They had a pretty good presentation about it at the selectmen's meeting. If you want to look it it's, up on the yeah. on YouTube. Yeah. It's not on the agenda for tomorrow night. Okay. Matthew just. Do they have a website? They do. I believe they do. Oh, okay. It's cool. 2017. Who does? Something that they have. Was it? Top. Tal uh, uh, Toland Mass. Toland Mass. They, they, they usually do it in Toland, but they're. In they, there's a there's a spot. Girl Scout camp or a former yes. girl, girl Scout camp in Tol in Tolland, mm -hmm. and they had for the past two or so years rented that, uh, and they are in the process of purchasing it, and so by product of the real estate transaction, they're unable to contract to locate there, so they're looking for a, a scaled down version of their annual event, and they'd like to do it here uh, after having. Um, met the property owner through uh, an alternative means and they felt that that was a, a good place to hold it and now they've approached the town and, and are, are looking to shore it up. Get some permitting for it. Yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. Move to adjourn. Second. Second. Um, 
No, I'm sorry, Greg. It's, I see it. Entertainment license for 300 Holman Street. It's on there? All I saw. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong one, May 2nd. Yeah, the ATM follow up is on uh, tomorrow night. All right. Any more board comments or concerns? <laughs> Just, I believe uh, there's a motion on the table to adjourn. Seconded. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Thanks, guys. Ooh. Yay, yay, yay. No bad Larry's tonight. Yeah. <laughs> it's bad. You gotta carry it out. Look at how fun they close at night. And you don't even have to sign.